favorite subject in school is math and science. They're like super fun to me. My favorite movie is Moana. Okay. in. What's up, dude? Yo, what's up, Wadden? Good to hear you back there, buddy. How you doing? Good to hear you back there, buddy. How you doing? Okay, let's check your levels real quick. Vlad and Chase live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, your Steamboat Sailors girls basketball team just about set to take on the Rifle Bears. Vlad and Chase live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, your Steamboat Sailors. Good. Take on the Rifle Bears. Lowen's not here. You'll have to let me know about his via text, please. Lowen's not here. You'll have to let me know about his via text, please. Okay. carried a tree up a really big mountain with my soccer team for some reason that I don't know. My goals for this season are to win Western Slope and win a couple playoff games also. My goals for life are just to be happy and do what I love. What I will remember most about being a sailor is all the friendships I've made. I'm Quinn Connell, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. If there's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call... Are we good on time, Vladen? How much time did you say we got? Sorry, I put the headset down for a second. How much time did you say we got? Sorry, I put the headset down for a second. About like four minutes. We're going to be a little bit earlier than that. I, I don't know. It only has a minute and a half up right now, but I mean, they're a little early right now. I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to be a little bit earlier than that. I, I don't know. It only has a minute and a half up right now, but I mean, they're a little early right now. I'm not 
not sure what's going yeah. on. So I'm leaving all the way back at 7.30. We got a good national anthem, though, yet, right? Good one. Hey, Roger, what? Roger. Yes. So I'm leaving all the way back at 7.30. Good one. Roger, Dodger. Okay, if you need to come in early, um, um, uh, just go ahead and text Patrick and let him know so he can uh, bring you in. Copy that, Ghost Rider. Copy that, Ghost Rider. Thank you. Are you a champion? Are you a champ? What are you talking about? You a champ? I'm always a champ, dude. <laughs> Holy cow, it's filling up. So many people here. Mm -hmm. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! Hey, Sailor basketball fans. PJ Wards and the Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more. No SD card today. Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Kelly's Gymnasium in Steamboat Sailors. Little basketball squad. Just about set for the opening tip-off here against the visiting Rifle Bears. Here. Steamboat's in their home white um, uniform with red numbers and black Steamboat trim. Sailors and on basketball. the other side of the ball, it's Rifle in royal blue, yellow, and white trim. Pleasure to have Lowen, Lowen Epstein along for the ride here this evening. Lowen, how are you? I'm doing good, Mr. Chase. How are you? Another day in paradise. Of course, I was out of commission for the weekend, but it sounded as though it was uh, a closer game for your Sailors girls here last Saturday. Uh, they only dropped that one 40 to 24. So there were points. It sounded as though that it was it was a tight game. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right. And uh, they were without the likes of Katie Lake and Samantha Kennedy, which are two of their more potent scorers on offense. And the fact that they were able to get, you know, some younger girls like Rose Epstein and Erica Simmons, they were putting up some pretty good numbers. It, it all around looked good for them. Just got to get a higher output and hopefully this first W comes soon. It'll be a tough task as Rifle has 12-2 and two on the year, if I'm not mistaken. So it should be tough to do it today, but definitely uh, we'll see if the girls are up for the challenge because to take down a top team, if that's the first uh, victory you get, that would be pretty nice. Absolutely. Hopefully they can pull this one out. And we're about to be underway here. As the starting lineups were just announced, Katie Lake in the press box doing the camera work. Got a little technical difficulties here, but looks like we're figuring it out. And we're just about underway. Shelby Weiss is 
in the circle for the tip off and she'll she'll win it back the other way is going to be the rifle bears First offensive possession for the Bears here. It's going to be taken by Walters, and she's going to go from right to left, firing it over to uh, the far side. That looked like that was Manapella, and her three ball no good. Steamboat is right to left here on the radio dial in first quarter play. As Rifle does have possession, now it's going to be tipped off of Shelby Weiss last and out of bounds, so the Bears will maintain that possession that they had just about a half minute into this one. If you are at home, you can watch online at SteamboatRadio.com. Terrestrially here in the Valley, it is 98.9 KTYV. Sports on FM, you can also listen online as well. The online stuff at SteamboatRadio.com. Steamboat now with their first possession. Carly Lanning's going to take this in the near side. Scoreless from Kelly Meek. It's going to be worked over to J.C. May. She looks for options, finds Lanning. Had the three ball, takes it. No good. Rebounded by Rifle. And back the other way comes Davis and company. This is Ellie Walters now. She's working against J.C. May here. May, the sophomore captain. It's inside now in the layup from Macy Smith is no good. Shelby Weiss on the rebound. Looks like that one just hit the bottom of the backboard. J.C. May now controls the ball. Top of the key. Spins around. Finds Erica Simmons. Far side. Top corner. Kicks it down low. It's Carly Lanning. Lanning, the senior on this team. Leader. And uh, she's a captain as well. Gives it out to Shelby Weiss. Weiss tries to find Simmons on the inside. Aaron pass. Right into the arms of Rifle. And they're going to be back the other way. It's going to be Rifle from the deep far corner. Fired back up top to Walters. She now goes back to the corner again. Bears at the baseline. Work it to the near side. That three ball does not drop for Smith. And here comes Carly Landing after rebounding. It's 6-10 left here. First quarter of play. Still scoreless from Kelly Meek. As Landing now fires a pass off. Looking for J.C. May, but she was forced to just give that one off a little quicker than she would have liked. And May wasn't quite ready for it. So a turnover, and Rifle will have it from the far side of the court. This is Katie Manipella now, one of the four seniors on this team. Is It's a good thing to have. A lot of older ladies out here. And it's inside now. Kick back out over to Ellie Walters. Back out low corner to Taylor Davis. Davis down low to Walters now. She handles it, drives the baseline, gets it over the head of Weiss, and driving in is a Maisie Smith. Can't get the layup to fall, though, and Weiss is there to snatch that loose ball. J.C. May now controls it, dribbles left, kicks it out to Landing, pulls up from three-point range. That one's good. Carly Landing, who shoots quite a lot of three-pointers, gets one to fall. Nice start here for the Sailors as they're going to take a 3-0 lead. 5.16 left, first quarter of play. It's going to be work top of the key, far side. This is one of the Manapella sisters at the top. And we work now to the middle of the court. We're awaiting Walters. She goes back to the far side for Manapella into the deep corner. Back up top again. Manapella drives, doesn't like what she sees, gives it off to her sister, gets it back again. She's into the paint and tossed one up that's blocked down. And so that is going to result in a steamboat possession here. J.C. May will take this for your Sailors. Up 3 nothing right now against this Rifle Bear squad. Looks as though a foul occurred, though, against the Bears. And so Steamboat will maintain possession after a push foul called against Walters. May will take it from the far side. As she's outside of the court, gets movement, finds Lanning. Lanning now back to May on a give and go. And J.C. May still has the dribble to work with. Instead passes off to Weiss. And she'll gather it in. Looked as though it was headed towards the out-of-bounds markings. But she does gather it and then fires a pass that was in and out of the hands of Harrison. And Rifle comes back. Manipello, Katie Manapella now handles it. Kicks it down low. We're going to see a three-pointer here from her sister, Carly. And that one's just off the backside, ironing out. Lanning's there to gather it. She controls it, top of the key, sends it down low to Simmons. Simmons looks inside, tries to find Weiss, but it's just tipped off her fingers. And now it's outside to Lanning again for the three-pointer. Can't get that one to fall. And Katie Manapella on the rebound. And the immediate fast break pass way down low to her sister Carly is going to be good for a layup as Rifle gets their first points of the game. 
Steamboat now at the other end of the court. This is Simmons tosses up a two ball. No, gonna drop there. She was looking for about 13 feet. And again, here is Manapella. Carly Manapella getting the feeds this time from Walters. And that is twice that she has found herself behind the defense here of the Sailors. And she puts in her fourth point. And so it's a 4 3 lead now in our first change in that regard of the evening. So rifle on top of Steamboat. Your sailors are right to left on the radio dial. Want to thank Docs Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank member FDIC. Also Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. And of course, Steamboat Dental Center. Dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witty and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. What are you seeing out there early stages here still of quarter one, Lowen? It's a good job. It's a good job from this sailors team as they're able to put up some shots, play good defense on the back end as well as they're holding this rifle team to only four points. But the only score we've seen so far was a Carly Laning three-pointer, and that's got to change. Absolutely. It's low-scoring affair for both offenses right now. And out of the timeout, it's going to be a steamboat ball. Carly Laning is going to take this. And Lanning will be on the throw-in pass. It'll be Simmons taking it up. Simmons working versus Ellie Walters. Stutter steps, almost loses it, and she's on the ground. Gets it outside to J.C. May, drives in, kicks it out to Lanning. Lanning now cross-court over to back to Simmons. Simmons looks left, dribbles over to the top of the key, and now it's a three-point attempt from May, and she can't get that one to fall. But Weiss is there for the rebound, gets the put back, and she'll get fouled. So Weiss doesn't get the putback layup to go, but she does get fouled, and she'll head to the line to shoot two. Nice job there from the sophomore. So with 3-11 to play, your Sailors girls basketball team is down by one, 4-3, to three, and Weiss gets set for her first free throw. That one's good. She ties it up. Weiss number 30 for these girls in white. They're in all white with red numbers and red trim. Weiss gets set for her second free throw, and this one is up and in as well. So Weiss goes two for two on the free throws, gives this Sailors team a one-point lead. 5-4, 3-10 to play. And back the other way is Rifle, it's Katie Manapella. She controls it and gives it off to her sister, Carly. Manapella now spins around. Looks down low, finds Ellie Walters. Walters drives the baseline, finds her teammate Taylor Davis on the inside. Can't get the layup to go. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up, and finally is fouled. Doesn't get the put back to fall, but she'll head to the line for two of her own. So with 2.48 to go, Sailors are up 5-4 to four after two Shelby Weiss free throws. And now this is Davis at the line on the other end. Davis hits the first one, ties it up. It's a 5-5 game. As she gets set for her second one. And this one's going to be up and uh, in as well. So just like that, Rifle has taken the lead back. So 6-5 game, but it's real tight here in the first quarter of play. 2.40 left and ticking down here in the first stanza. Worked at Simmons in the paint. Back to Sierra Harrison. Her shot's airmailed, rebounded by Rifle. And the Bears come back again on offense. Long ball to the far side of the court. Finds the hands of Manapella. Gives it to her sister. Back again to Carly. Her three ball no good. Rebounded by Lane and Shelby Weiss. And the combination there works for Steamboat. And your sailors have possession once again. Simmons now the freshman. She's a starter now consistently on this team. Hands it off to Lanning. Another three-pointer is just in and out. As she can't get that one to fall. Rebounded by Carly Manapella. Manapella takes it upside. Now it's an inside pass over to Maisie Smith. And she gets that layup to fall. 8-5 rifle leads. Erica Simmons will control it. And it's over to Lanning, who almost loses it, but she controls it at the top of the key. They move it around the horn, far side, top corner, over to Simmons. Inside now to Weiss. Hook shot is just off the backboard. And no good. So Rifle will take over now. 8-5 lead, still just one possession between these two teams. And they're going to say that it went off of Rifle. So, or no, it was a foul, pardon just a ball foul there, so you're, you're pardoned. Uh, thank you. Uh, I will continue then. Steamboat possession work to Lanning. She's beyond the arc, going for it again. Air Mails almost gets the referee. And some quick twitch muscles there in effect. 
successfully so. And the rifle will take this after that shot's ending up across the baseline. Here come the Bears. Far side, deep corner. It's going to be passed between Carly and Katie Manapella. And there's a three ball from Katie. And she's on the scoreboard. 11 to 5 is your score. And Sabres team doesn't want the Bears to run away with this as Simmons controls it. Down low to Sierra Harrison. Harrison now looks inside, dribbles right, loses it, and it's going to be stolen away by Ellie Walters. Walters back the other way on the fast break, drives in, goes for the underhand layup, doesn't get it. She's fouled. So Walters is going to head to the line for two, trying to extend this lead. We've got 1.14 to play in this first quarter of action as the Sailors are down by six with Walters at the free throw line. She goes up and first one is no good. As it looks like Jason Mays over here talking with Coach Ibarra. And second one is good. So that makes it a 12-5 game. Sailors back the other way, it's Erica Simmons. Looks left, finds J.C. May. Back up top to Simmons. She's gonna walk across the arc here. Gives it to Harrison, back to May. Open beyond the arc, doesn't shoot. Gives it to Lanning instead, a little Euro step. Fires one off, it's not going to drop and Rifle comes back with a chance to extend this out. No, oh. long ball from Walters. That one off the front of the rim and out. And then it ends up hitting off of uh, Rifle Bear and dribbling out of bounds, and so steamboat possession here. But, yeah, you, you oh, said it all. That was uh, Steph Curry range right there. I had a Euro earlier. Now they're out here doing Euro steps. You I, had a Euro? I had it. I had was one earlier. Was it tasty? It was. How crazy is that, though? I mean, pretty, pretty <laughs> tasty. I wouldn't say crazy. You get the lamb? Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, basketball. 12-5 the score here. Steve Buck's <laughs> down by seven. Landing's going to inbound this as your Sailors do have the offensive possession. We'll see if they can get something going. Inbound pass to Weiss. Not going to happen. And it's Shelby in slow motion falls to the court. Here comes Rifle at the other end of the basketball court. A shot and the second one. Not going to drop. <laughs> Did you see and that? I mean, that was yeah. slow motion right there, man. I mean, she, she like kind of was, she was going and then just kind of. And as the yeah, as the ball was on the ground there, Sierra Harrison was wrestling for it, and she got control and gets called for the travel. So this is going to be a rifle bears ball, as it's Ellie Walters on the throw in. Walters calls for movement, running out of time. Finally finds Manapella up top, back over to Walters. She tries a three pointer. That one's good. Wow. And with 17 seconds to go, to go in this first quarter, 15 to 5 is your score. Sailors are going to have one more shot at it. It's J.C. May over to Carly Lanning. Back over to May. It's going to be tipped out by Walters with eight seconds on the clock. Is that her second free throw, of, second three pointer of the game? I think no. So. That was just her first. And it's Carly. Shelby Weiss now. Carly Manapella got one earlier. Okay. Either way, I mean, this team's still putting up good numbers from behind the arc. It's Weiss will be on the throw-in. She's got five seconds to go, and the three-point attempt from Simmons is just going to be airballed with 2.2 to go, and the rifles are gonna, rifle bears are going to have one more shot of this, and it's a half-court heave from Walters. No good. And that, folks, will take us into the second with a 15-5 to score. We're going to step away for a minute and be back with that second quarter. This is KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Back with that second quarter. This is KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support 
Bird, the Steamboat Sailors. This is Skip Yerdorf from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. This is Steamboat Sailors Girls Basketball on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. And I'm Lowen Epstein live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium as it's Carly Lanning going up for the layup. Can't get it. Sierra Harrison grabs the rebound inside to Simmons. Back out to Lanning and they're going to get her for the travel. As she just took a little too long on her hesitation there. And this is going to be a Bears ball with Katie Manapella on the throw. And Manapella now will find Walters. She's got J.C. May working against her. Walters takes it up. She's looking for some movement as they're just going to run this around the horn. It's over to Manapella now. Back to Walters. We've got 7.07 on the clock. 15-5 lead for the Bears. And now it's up top. Maisie Smith controls it inside to Walters. Goes up for the layup and can't get it to fall. Gets her own rebound, though. Put back is good. And Walters stays with it to add to this lead. 6.50 to go. Steamboat with possession now. This is going to be J.C. May. Fires over to Erica Simmons on the near side of the court. And Simmons will just dribble to the middle there. Finds Lanning. Lanning looking for small foul movement. Got it in this. Harrison turns and fires. No good. Rebound is going to be gobbled in by rifle and swatted at by Shelby Weiss. Turns into a foul. And that will be possession for rifle. 17-5 the score here. Steamboat was right there, neck and neck with this bear squad early on, and then just in the last couple minutes of that half, let it slip away somewhat. I do state correct, there are three three pointers so far for the Bears from three different girls. So they've got a team that can shoot, and they are attacking once again. From the far side, this is Walters, and Walters seems to be kind of the hub in terms of the offense. She's got six points, leading all scores. Gets it again inside, turns and fires, and that's going to be a foul against Sierra Harrison, I believe. And so Walters will go to the line for two here on the push against Harrison. And she will... So you, got, too. so you got the Nikes on today. You like that? Yeah. Shabam. Yeah, it's, it's fresh. That's what I do. Walters makes her first one. She's up to seven points now. Not quite as good of shoes as I have, but whatever. She's or, playing. Yeah, or me. And Walters makes her second <laughs> as well, pushing her point total to eight so far today. And this is going to be J.C. May. Goes behind the back, step back. Almost takes the three-pointer, but hands it off to Lanning. Lanning now looks inside for Weiss, and she's going to kick it back out to Harrison. Harrison now controls it, and she's going to get called for the travel there as these girls have had back-to-back -back turnovers for on the travel call. So the Bears are going to handle it. On the inbounds pass is Manapella. But before that, there's going to be a whistle as Rose Epstein is going to check into the game. She'll take out Sierra Harrison. Epstein, the freshman, number 32 for the Sailors. As it's Ellie Walters controlling the ball. Like you said, Vaughn, she's kind of the hub of this offense. And she'll take it up, give it off to Manapella. And it's up top to Smith. Maisie Smith looks inside, decides on Walters on the outside. And now it's back up top to April Quinoa's. And <laughs> Walters controls it, drives in. Nice bounce pass there to find Katie Manapella on the baseline. She gets the layup to fall. 21-5 to is your score. 5.18 to play in this first half. Here's J.C. May now. A little jump stop. She's going to kick it back outside to Erica Simmons. Into the arc. Finds Rose Epstein. Dribbles once back to Simmons up top of the key. Now to Lanning. Lanning thought about taking it from there. Shakes her head, says nope. And then pass nope. to J.C. May. Hits off the defender Ooh. and over the midcourt line, but it isn't going to be that over and back because it did hit the rifle bear, and then the Bears take over, and here comes rifle. Walters with a nice one-handed feed, and the shot is up and no good there. 
as the collision and the contact not whistled down. 21-5 the score. Your Sailors are down in this one and looking for a little bit of offense after going quiet since their first five points and Rifle gets another quick two here. Wow. And a turnover at one end of the court and it turns in to more points. Sailors really don't have any defensive answer at the moment for this Rifle Bears squad as they're just running all over him. Simmons controls it now out to Lanning over to JC May back up top to Lanning. It's White. She tries a three-pointer and can't get it to fall. Good effort there from the sophomore and Ellie Walters back the other way. Touch pass down low to Carly Manapella and that was almost nice. She couldn't get the layup to go though. Sailors quickly now back the other way moving right to left. This is landing with a three ball. No good. Rebound is going to be taken by a rifle. And they're going to say over the back there against Walters, who doesn't like it. I don't know if I agree either. Seemed like she kind of just had that ball and won it. But it turns into an over the back nonetheless. And so possession for Steamboat here. 3.52 left in half number one. 23 to 5. So Steamboat now need some points on this possession. It's going to be chased down by Shelby Weiss. Now she dribbles. Nice little bounce pass to Simmons. Out to Pavarnik. Now it's again Shelby Weiss. Stops and pops. No good. And rebound hit off of Epstein's left hand. But into possession for Rifle there at the other end of the court. Wow. What do you, I mean, is that a cherry pick? Do you call that a cherry pick? I mean, that's what we call it in hockey. It seems like they are just always well in front of the Steamboat it's, Sailors. It's really just good. It's really just a good job of running the floor from this rival team. Sailors haven't really faced a team that they couldn't keep up with this year, and the Bears are looking to do that. As you see, you see a lot of teams in college in the NBA try to, try to get that ball down there to the other, other end of the court. Usually it doesn't work out, but this Bears team is making it look easy as that free throw falls from Maisie Smith. And it's Quinn Kleins handling it, top of the key, over to Erica Simmons, down low to J.C. May inside, tries to find Pavarnik just off her hands though, but May's able to re-gather possession, kicks it out to Simmons, tries the deep two, and that one just bounces out of bounds. Will remain Sailor's ball though, J.C. May will be on the throw in. 26 to five is your score with 3.14 left to play in this first half. Quinn Kleins handles it now, dribbles, Right, step back, pull up Jay is no good. Right into the hands of a rifle bear. And looks like Queen Kleins was trying to pick it out of her. And she gets called for the foul. So this will be just a possession foul as the Bears handle it now. On the throw in is going to be Taylor Davis. Another <laughs> foul called there. What was that call? Just a push. Yeah. Oh, they're in the they're in the bonus. So the Bears are going to be shooting free throws after that push foul called on Lana Pavarnik. That was against May. May, yeah, JC May. My bad. 3:03 left, one and one now. As this is going to be Katie Manapella to shoot, and she does not earn a second one, missing the first. Opportunity to put back, no good. Rebound again by Rifle, and every stat right now is in the Bears' favor. The offensive rebounds are dropping into the girls with uh, blue jerseys on, and I think Steamboat needs to really figure something out with that. They need to earn some balls here. So as, this, might be the, this might be the best team they've played all season. I mean, that's the way it's looking. You know what yeah, I'm saying? No, I agree with you. Another shot foul there as Katie Manapella goes back to the line for two. First one, no good. They need you out there, Sammy. Yeah. Sammy Kennedy over here doing the camera for us. In case anyone uh, has any qualms about the uh, camera work at Sammy Kennedy. You can, <laughs> yep, you can contact her. <laughs> Nothing to do with us. As it's Quinn Kleins handling it. Over to Epstein now. Post move. Loses it. Come on, Rose. What are you doing there? And back the other way is Katie Manapella. She pulls up and hits that one. 29 to 5 now. 232 left to go. Steamboat once more. Erica Simmons will take this up court and loses it on a little wolf play. And Rifle comes up two on one. Back post play. And the shot is good from Manapella. 
who has just absolutely taken a streak here and run away with seven points so far here in this quarter. As we're going to see a timeout called by the Sailors as they really need to figure something out here before this score gets too out of control. 31-5, to 2.15 left to go. Do want to thank Mountain View Car Wash helping the Sailors clean the competition between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Also, Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more, offering customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products, as well as UC Healthy and Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. Don't forget about Chris Puckett in the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Seymour more results by Wyndham Vacation Rentals and our proud supporter of Sailors Athletics. Friends coming to town, give them a call at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. What's the issue right now, Vaughn? What do you see? Well, Rifle scored more points than we have. That's a good observation. And uh, our shooting's just not quite there. I really think a lot of it, though, all is going to be keyed in on the uh, rebounding as well. Got to get in there, box out, and make sure that you can come down with some extra possession time because right now it's all rifle. The turnovers are killing us too. There's one in our favor though is Natalie Schouster gets a travel call. So this will be Sailor's ball now. Erica Simmons will be on the throw in. And it's over to JC May. May dribbles left, drives in, kicks it out to Quinn Kleins and now she hesitates, pulls up and gets the can't get the layup to the 15 footer to fall as it just bounced on the back of that rim for a few seconds so quickly now it's april quinones the other way down low now over to delaney phillips and did she step out of bounds she did so this is going to be a sailor's ball it'll be quinn Kleins to take this one with just 97 seconds left here in the half, 31 to 5. Steamboat still hasn't scored here in the second quarter of play. <clears throat> Looking to change that. They've put Molly Brown into the game. JC May is out. And Brown will step across the midcourt line. Dribbling, looking for options, decides on the far side of the court. Fires back up to Quinn Klein, still well beyond the arc. Inside now to Rose Epstein. Epstein drives the paint, tosses up. No good. Wow. But she'll shoot too. What a stud. You have to say that because you felt bad from your earlier comments in the year. <laughs> Epstein's going to take these shots from the line, as I said, and look to at least get the Sailors on the board here with 117 to go as Epstein's first drops in. So Rose with the first point so far here for Steamboat in quarter number two. Changing the game. Just like her brother. Okay. Uh, 31 to 6. And here comes Rifle attacking at the other end. It's going to be work to the top. Waiting for it there is Quinones. A shot now from three range. No good. Good opportunity though from Schouster. She wanted her first points. But it does not fall. This is going to be Molly Brown on the inbounds pass. And she's going to take it up the court herself. Moving right to left on the radio dial. Brown wearing number 23. Shoots it over to Quinn Kleins, who drives in, kicks it out back to Brown. And now she's going to try to drive in, and there's just going to be a scrum on the ground. As this will be a jump ball. Keenones was in on that as well. They're going to reward this Sailor's possession, though. So Erica Simmons with 51 seconds to play in this first half. Tries to find Epstein, but it's just bounced out of, just going to be tipped out of bounds by her. Uh, looks like it was off a rifle player. So Simmons will be throwing it in once more. Finds Quinn Kleins. Can't get the 15 footer J to fall. And it goes out of bounds. Back the other way is going to be the Bears. Was that fantasy football? Hoggy. Oh, okay. So this is Carly Manapella. She's got 40 seconds to go. 
Manapella over to Schouster, and it's going to be stolen by Quinn Clines on the fast break, and she goes up for the layup and can't get it to fall. Pavarnik is there to gather the rebound, though. Nice hustle there from Pavarnik as she slows it down. Simmons at the top of the key. Simmons now over to Quinn Clines, and Clines controls it far side, top corner. Up top now over to Brown. Now inside to Epstein, gets the layup to go. Rose Epstein with the last three points for this Sailors team. And with six seconds to go, the Bears are going to get one more possession. Epstein steals it, though, and that'll do it here for this first half with Epstein leading the way to end it. Go step away. This is your Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also heard and watched on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Sports Connect, KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also heard and watched on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. Sponsored by Docs Auto Clinic, Yampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, Steamboat Dental Center, and Chris Bucket with Edward Joe. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. Check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware, All State Insurance, the Allison Agency, UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, Russell's Auto Salon, and Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsor support the sailors so please support our sponsors sports on f 98.9 presents steamboat sailors basketball only on 98.9 and steamboatradio.com the team of mountain view car wash and detailing professionals is proud to be supporting sailor sports this season whether a basic wash or a full detail we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail so while the sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle with affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. Small emergencies. Scrapes, sprains, and stitches. They're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name's Sierra Harrison, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 42, and I play post. I've been playing basketball for eight years. I also like to run cross-country and track and field. I'd like to go to college at Colorado State University. I don't aspire to play basketball in college, but I would love to run cross-country. In 10 years, I see myself at Colorado State Veterinary School. Outside of school, I'm also involved in student council, community service, and I love to spend time with my family. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Glory Road because it's an inspiration basketball story. Last summer, I spent a lot of times with my friends, and I went on a mission trip to Belize. I was in Belize with my church, and we helped little kids learn about the Bible, and we stayed in the capital city. My goals for this season are to start every single varsity game, and for our team to win a couple games, hopefully. My goals in life are to be an equine orthopedic surgeon, and to have a nice family. What I will remember about being a sailor is the family atmosphere that we have. I'm Sierra Harrison. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paid to power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors. 
and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the help of all your home needs place. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Tyler Doyne. I'm a junior. I wear number five, and I play small forward. I've been playing basketball ever since third grade. I also like playing lacrosse and football. I'd like to go to college at CU Boulder. If I play sports in college, I would play lacrosse. In 10 years, I see myself with a successful job and a happy life. Outside of school, I'm also involved in lacrosse, basketball, and football. My favorite subject in school is AP Physics because it's very interesting to me. My favorite movie is Talladega Nights because shake and bake. Last summer, I had lots of fun with my friends. We jumped off a bridge into the river a lot, and it was pretty fun doing flips and stuff. My goals for this season are to win the league championship and win at least two playoff games. My goals for life are to have a happy life and be successful. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the friendships I made with my teammates. My name is Tyler Doyle, and I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on on Fox Sports 98.9. Hey, Sailor basketball fans, P.J. Wardson of the Yampa Valley Bank, here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student-athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and go Sailors! This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is the Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Lana Pivarnik, and I'm a senior in high school. This year, I will be number 14, and I will be playing pretty much every position. And I have been playing basketball for 10 years, and it's the only sport that I play. I don't really know where I plan to go to college. I've applied to eight so far this year, and I'm going to apply to three more, so we'll see where I end up. I don't plan on playing in college. In 10 years, I see myself living in the woods, which is also one of my life goals, because it sounds really peaceful and relaxing. Outside of school, I'm highly involved in the drama troupe. My favorite subject in school is math, because I really like solving problems. My favorite movie is Kingsman because it has some really cool action going on and it's really comedic. Last summer I hiked to Machu Picchu with my mom and one of my really good friends and our guide Josias and it was a really fun time. We summited a mountain that was 15,000 feet tall which is higher than any point in the United States and it was a really good time. Got to see some jungles and some mountains and there are definitely aliens. I learned that after that trip. My goals for the season are just to have a really good time with my teammates because we're more of a family now and just to hang out with them and my goals for life as I stated before are to live in the woods but actually to have a just like have a good life and enjoy myself and be happy what I will remember most about being a sailor is freezing to death on the short bus regularly but having a good time regardless of that my name is Lana Pivarnik I'm a senior and I'm proud to be a sailor you've just heard the sailor spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9 Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat 
sailors. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, your Steamboat Sailors girls basketball team. With a little bit of a tough outing in that first half of play, they find themselves down by 23 points after the first 16 minutes of play. I'm Lawton Chase, along with Lone Epstein here for the call. Um, your Steamboat Sailors are in their home white uniforms, red numbers, black trim, and the Rifle Bears, who are a pretty solid squad, one of the tougher teams this Sailors team has faced so far this year in their royal blue with yellow and white trim. It'll be Steamboat left to right on the radio dial here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Shout out. I'm sure that uh, Carly Lanning's dad is listening from Alaska. He normally does tune in. So hello to Mr. Lanning if he's up there. Um, Steamboat with a quick earn jump ball. That'll be a Sailor's possession here. Lowen, what did you see there in first half play? I saw this Sailor's team... They were putting in the effort. They just were really getting outplayed. The the Bears were running the court faster, putting up more shots, and just passing the ball better, getting those inside layup shots, which are really gimmies for this team. And Sailors got to play better defense, get down, get down on the other end, just a tad bit faster to stop those fast break chances, and they should be all right. Anyways, here it's a 31-7 Sailors ball. Going to be taken by Shelby Weiss. Passes out to J.C. May. May drops up to the top. Gives it to Sierra Harrison. Back to Weiss. Dribbles into the paint. Euro step. Layup's good. Nice job there. Good start for Weiss. Uh, she'll get the opening points here of second half play. 31-10. A three ball at the other end of the court. And that one is from Carly Manapella. And it's good. Simmons back the other way and Lanning controls it. Back up top to Simmons. Now cross court over to JC May. She tries the three ball. That's no good. And now, like I said, here's another fast break opportunity. And it's Manapella getting the layup. Sailor's just getting beat on the defensive switches. Simmons controls it over to May. She's going to drive in, kick it outside. It's Lanning now. Lanning behind the arc in this near side low corner. Tries to throw it up to Shelby Weiss, and here's another fast break. And it is going to be Maisie Smith getting that one to fall. 38 to 10. 6.34 to play. Yeah, it's oh, tough. Wow. Here's Here we a go. giveaway. <laughs> and just like that, rifle with some quick buckets here. That's Walters, who is the latest to wow. tuck it in. <laughs> 40 to 10 as May kicks it outside to Weiss. Cross court over to Lanning. Lanning step backs behind the arc, steps back behind the arc, tries to find Simmons inside, but it's just going to be stolen away by Taylor Davis. And Davis gives it off to Katie Manapello, who takes it up the court. And here's a three ball attempt, and that one's good for Maisie Smith. Extending this lead, 43 to 10. No one was on her. They got to get a hand in her face, and here's another fast break from Maisie Smith as she gets the layup to go after stealing that one. Sailors are going to call a timeout here, and the visible frustration from Shelby Weiss and Coach Ibarra and Coach Raper is as they're just. I'm, I've never. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. I've never <laughs> seen is, that. I mean, we've just in this. We've only been playing here for about three minutes, two and a half minutes, and we've seen six fast break layups with no one, no one in front of them in the half. Wow, Sailor's got to make some adjustments here. Going to take a quick thirty seconds. We'll be back with more. This is Sailor's basketball on KTYV ninety eight nine Sports on FM. 
adjustments oh here. God. It'll take a quick 30 seconds. We'll be back with more. This what is Sailor nice, Basketball on KTYV 98.9 Sports what on FM. Even, like doing practice. Oh my God. What was that, Sammy? What are they even like doing practice? <laughs> Back with you here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, 45-10 the score. 525 left. Rifle with an errant pass. That's gonna be a turnover. And Steamo will have an offensive possession here. It looks as though they started things off pretty solidly with Shelby Weiss getting the getting that uh, first bucket here of the half, and then all of a sudden Rifle just came storming back. And they put in two, four, seven, four, ten, 14 points of their own. And another two. Who scored that? Is that think, Walters? Yeah, that was Walters on the back end. And it's May handling it now at the top of the key. J.C. May looks inside. Designs on Pavarnik near side top corner. Back out to May. She tries the three ball. And that's just going to be air mailed out of bounds as Rifle causes another turnover 47 to 10 Quinn Kleins is going to come in the game Simmons will take a seat on the bench and Taylor Davis will get it started with the inbounds pass to Manapella Katie Manapella now number two for the girls in blue is just going to slow it down try to run some time off this clock shoots it over to her sister Carly and now Manapella back up top to Manapella <laughs> along the baseline Fadeaway J is no good for Maisie Smith. Her gets her own rebound though, tries to put it up again, and it's saved in a running in Manapella gathers the gathers the loose ball, puts it up for another layup. 49-10, 4-16 to play. She's got 14. That's uh, Katie Manapella with 14 points. Shelby Weiss trying to get some points of their own for the Sailors. No good. Rifle gets it. And a fast break. And here's Carly Manapella. No good as J.C. May got back. Second one no good as well. But she gathers her rebound twice. And a chance for her sisters also off the iron and stays out. And then a last touch there from Rose Epstein. See, there was three Sailors girls down there as the as Manapella missed those two layups, that's where you got to crash the boards and get that rebound. And Maisie Smith puts up one. No good there. Sailors finally cause an empty possession, and they're back the other way, moving left to right. It's Quinn Kleins. Looks left, spins behind, finds Pavarnik near side top corner, back up top to the top of the key to Quinn Kleins. Moves it around the horn. It's J.C. May. And she throws it right into the hands of Manapella, and here's another fast break. Manapella goes up, gets the, doesn't get the layup to fall, but it's an and one. Quinn Kleins will get called for the foul, and Manapella will head to the free throw line for two. 3.28 left here. Third quarter play. First foul against Molly Quinn Kleins. Big lead for Rifle and getting bigger. First one drops in for Katie Manapella. She's got five points just in this quarter. Looking to make it six here from the line, and she does. 16 points this game for Katie Manapella. 0 for 1 this evening for the bottle flip for Low and Epstein. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Calling me out on 51 to 10 the score here. <laughs> and rifle with the possession. Do you want to thank Doc's Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car? The Amp Valley Bank, the Amp Valley's only locally owned bank member, FDIC, as well as Alpine Lumber. Employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Rebound here from Epstein. She throws some elbows around, making sure to clear her space. And back comes J.C. May. May's going to step up. Fires a pass quick at Epstein. Again throws elbows. No one was even there, but she threw elbows. And now it's Kleins. Gets it off to Pavarnik. Dumps one off from about 15 feet. No good. Rebounded by Rifle. And the Bears with another long oh pass to the God. side. And a little hip check thrown. Not going to be called. Epstein could have got called on that one. As she went hard into the <laughs> girl with the layup, that was uh, Carly Manapella. This is Quinn Kleins handling it. Runs into two defenders, and she gets tripped up there, and that's going to be a foul on rifle. Number two, Katie Manapella 
So this is just going to be a possession foul as J.C. May heads to the baseline to throw it in. May now calls for movement, finds Quinn Kleins near side top corner, almost at the half court mark. And she's going to dribble right, pull up, Jay is good. Nice job there from Quinn Kleins as she was able to bury that 12-footer from just outside the paint. 51 to 12 with 2.09 to go in this third. It's the Rifle Bears back the other way, and there's a three pointer from Carly Manapella. <laughs> no effort whatsoever, as she was just left wide open on that top corner and buries it. Here comes JC May now. Pulls up, fires the pass, looking for Kleins. Intercepted back the other way. This is Walters. Drives on May, puts one up. No good, no foul. And a rebound here for Steamboat. It's going to be Lana Pavarnik who will take this one up court for your Sailors girls. 95 seconds left in the third quarter of play. 54 12 the score. And this is Pavarnik. Makes a drive of her own. Dishes out now to JC May. May is going to take her dribble this time. Steps out beyond the arc. Three ball no good. Rebounded by Weiss for a moment. Then she lost it. And then a hold, or are they going to call her on the foul? They will indeed. It looks as though Rose Epstein got the foul there. And so, here comes Rifle once again. Steamboat not going to even challenge him from beyond the arc right now. The Bears have all day. It's another chance. This one off of the iron stays out. Rebounded by Rifle though. Walters has it now. Steps back beyond the arc. Kicks one down low to the far side to Smith. And Smith will just do a cross court pass. And another three ball. No good as Carly Manapella 0 for 2 on that possession. And we've got under a minute to play with 54-12. The score. Your sailor's down in a big way here. May, J.C. May controls it, spins around, gives it up top to Quinn Klein. She almost loses it, but good hands there as she crosses a girl up. And then she does lose it. It's just deflected, and it's Manapella back for the easy layup. So 28 seconds to go here. Sailor's looking to have one more shot at this before this third quarter of action ends. And it's J.C. May taking it past half court, moving left to right. Shoots it over. It's Quinn Kleins. Near side, top of the key. Quinn Kleins handles it, calls for movement, looks inside. It's Epstein. Drives in, puts up the layup, and doesn't get it to go, but she gets fouled. Epstein's going to head to the line to shoot two. With 11.8 seconds to go here, your Sailors are down 56 to 12. Epstein from the line here. First shot. Up and no good. Second try here for Rose. So far today, she's got three points. And the second one is going to drop. Make that four for Rose Epstein. 56-13. Rifle comes back again. Charging up court. Bears are going to swing it outside. Three ball again. And that one is good from Katie Manapella. Wow. And that'll do it here, folks, for this third quarter of action. 59-13 to 13 is going to be your score heading into this finer, final frame of play. Just step away for 30 seconds and be back with more. This is KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM and on the World Wide Web at SEMORadio.com. Just step away for 30 seconds and be back with more. This is KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM and on the World Wide Web at SEMORadio.com. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 
Did you know that SportsMed at Yampa Valley Medical Center is an official medical provider for the United States ski and snowboarding teams? That's right. The therapists at SportsMed at YVMC specialize in everything from sports medicine to orthopedics, concussion management to hand therapy. If the U.S. ski and snowboard team trusts our therapists with the care of their athletes, don't you? Call today for a $10 injury evaluation at 871-2370 or learn more at ybmc.org backslash sportsmed. SportsMed at YVMC, official medical provider of the United States ski and snowboard. Teams. Get into it, Bob. So, <laughs> Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here and just underway with quarter number four. This is your Sailor Sports Connection. KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Travels to the bucket won't count there against, uh, or for, sorry, the Bears. They've got the big lead, 59-13, the score. And so far, Katie Manapella leading all scores with 21 points. It's going to be J.C. May getting this one to Sierra Harrison. Sierra's going to take it. Fires off to Pavarnik. Little stop and pop from Pavarnik from 18 feet. No good. Almost had that one drop, and Rifle takes over. They're going to work it up court once again. Long ball. Finds it a far deep corner to the hands of Phillips inside to the paint. Taken there by Sierra Harrison. And a jump ball. That will be a steamboat possession. So nice forced turnover there from the girls in white. Because they're going to put up some numbers here before this game ends. Simmons now controls the ball. And... She'll slowly take it up, moving left to right. She's going to dribble over to her left, kick it back out to J.C. May, and now May handles it over to Weiss. Weiss, hesitation move, drives in and doesn't get the layup, but she does get fouled. So Shelby Weiss, the sophomore, number 30, is going to head to the line to shoot two. 59-13, 5.44 to go. And the, the vibe in this gym right now is definitely... Not where you want it to be is so it was coming off a pretty good game last week. Well, we'll see what Coach Ibarra and Coach Raper have to say about this one. Couldn't agree with you more. You want to definitely have a little more excitement in your fans, but I think you're right. Shelby Weiss knocks down both of her uh, free throws. I think this is probably one of the toughest teams that we face so far this season. They're 12 and 2. They really stretch the court more than we've seen any other girls team so far. I mean, they've got girls up court so quickly on those turnovers. It almost seems like they're staying there. But you can see when you watch it, it's just like that quick of a release defensively. And so tough to really match up. If you're the Sailors, it's not really a lot that you can do to defend that. 59-15, the score. That's an athleticism thing. And rifle... Not short on the athleticism. 6-11 to go here. Fourth quarter play. And it's going to work to the near side. Rifle with their next point. Will go into the 60-point range here this evening. A little jump step. And then a foul. Wow. That should not be a shooting foul. She was going for a little... J.C. May is going to get that. Not sure I agree with the shooting part of it. It was a foul. I mean, she wrapped her up there. But Smith to the line, and she'll make her first one here. As second one from Smith is going to be up and no good. And the rebound is going to be gathered by Sierra Harrison. Nice hustle there. She'll get called for the foul. Drew it. No, it was uh, no, she, a. No, I think. It, oh yes, you're right. So this is going to be a sailor's ball, just a possession foul. J.C. May is going to handle it. Mays taking it up the court now. Number 21, the sophomore, hesitation move, steps back, kicks it inside to Weiss. Weiss now, swim move over the head of one of those rifle defenders, and now it's Pavarnik for a three-pointer attempt. No good there, but Weiss is there to gather the rebound. She just gets shoved to the ground along the baseline. And they're going to call that on number 13, Mackenzie El El Zorado. Could definitely be a closer game, too. I mean, the shooting for Steamboat hasn't been quite where we've seen it in previous games. In terms of the percentage, obviously, I don't have that much stat line <laughs> on mine. But, uh, you know, you, you knock down a few of these three ball attempts that we've seen, Carly Landing, especially in that early part. And. Scoreboard, scoreboard could read a little differently. 
Here now Absolutely. is J.C. May. She's going to take this, crosses over to her right. Dishes off now to Simmons. Simmons walks and fires it back to May. May's beyond the arc. Spin move. Almost double dribble. Stays out, though. Pavarnik. Three ball no good. Harrison keeps it in play. Rifle, though, is the only team with players in the vicinity. They gather it in, and the Bears are on offense once again. 60-15 to 15 the score here as Rifle tries to extend this one out, but your Sailors looking for any type of answer they can defensively, and there it is. Lana Pavarnik, great steal, and Pavarnik the other way drops in her first points on the day. Nice job there from Lana Pavarnik, doing a good job intercepting that pass and just being a ball hawk, going up and getting it, taking back the other way and finishing it. And quickly now, it's going to be thrown out of bounds by April Canones. Nice defense there from Erica Simmons as she was just in the face of Canones. Caused that one to go out of bounds. Under four minutes left in the game, got to say. I mean, the Sailors have never given up in this one. Absolutely, and it's, they're, they're really good in the fourth quarter as well, consistently putting up numbers as the deep two-pointer from Weiss is no good. Back the other way is Rifle. Kicked outside, it's Mackenzie Elizrado in the corner now. Inside pass over to Natalie Schouster, and she goes up for the layup. Can't get it to fall, though, and goes out of bounds. They're going to say it was last touched by J.C. May, so this will remain a Rifle Bears possession. 3-12 to go and ticking down here in fourth quarter play with a big lead for Rifle and possession for the Bears as well. Do want to thank Doc's Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. Ampa Valley Bank, the Ampa Valley's only locally owned bank member FDIC, as well as Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operator, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. Here comes Erica Simmons. Off to J.C. May. May's going to try and drive. Goes to the baseline. Goes between her legs. And we'll just throw one back to Shelby Weiss. Three ball from Weiss. I think they're no, going to get that two. for yeah, two. Stepped on the line there. But Weiss with uh, her fourth point here of the quarter. Closing the gap. 60-19 to 19 now as the Rifle Bears are trying to move it up the court. Trying to break this full court press from the Sailors. As there's going to be a foul called here. I believe that was against. It looks that was against the Sailors, but it's just going to be a possession call. Looks like so, it was another one against May. She's just one away from fouling out of this game. So Delaney Phillips will be on the inbounds pass. She finds Mackenzie Alzerado. Kicked outside now. It's April Canones. Canones now controls it at the top of the key. She's going to kick it near side to Natalie Schouster. Back up to Canones. They're just trying to work it around the horn as Delaney Phillips handles it. Phillips goes in and out. They're just trying to waste some time off this clock, not run up the score too much as we've got only a minute 38 to play. And here we go. Here's a drive from Canones, but doesn't take the layup. Instead gives it off to Schouster, and she'll be the one to hit it. So Schouster with a 10-foot J makes it 62-19, to 19 and as the Sailors were taking it back, we're going to see a quick timeout here from Coach Raper and Coach Ibarra. I want to say a quick shout-out to our sponsors here, Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. The Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally-owned bank member, FDIC. Alpine Lumber, employee-owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend, as well as Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Woody and the team, or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Looks like we're about ready to head out of this timeout. Coach Ibarra saying his last remarks. Once again, your score here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium is 62-19 to in favor of the Rifle Bears. Great music, though. <laughs> so we'll come out of the timeout here. It's going to be a Sailor's possession. J.C. May will be on the throw-in. May kicks it into Simmons. We've got a buck 23 to work. May works now. Steps back. Finds Weiss on the baseline. Goes up for the J. Doesn't get it, though, but she'll head to the line shooting two. Shelby Weiss putting up some pretty, pretty good numbers here in this last couple frames of action. 
Yeah, she is. She's got six points in the last couple quarters, eight on the evening so far. Um, and her first free throw is down. So she's got five now here in the fourth quarter alone. She's doing pretty solid. And spearheading this attack for Steam. But we haven't seen a lot of Carly Lanning in this last quarter and a half, really, as Weiss knocks down the next shot as well, gets herself into double digits, which is a surprise. I mean, Lanning's kind of that three-ball girl, and she's been on the bench for a good little portion of this one. Right. At least in the second half. Absolutely. Rifle handling the ball now. It's Delaney Phillips now over side, over near side to Schouster, who drives in and tries to put up the layup, trying to split three defenders. Can't get it to fall. And we've got 53 seconds to work here. It's Simmons moving left to right. She's at the top of the key. Works it around the horn. She's at the near side top corner. Back up top to Pavarnik. Pavarnik holds it above her head, kicks it out back to Simmons, and now it's inside to uh, Sarah, Harrison. Sarah Harrison. Excuse me. And oh, she is gonna get. She couldn't on get that the. One. She couldn't get the turnaround. Jay to fall. Rifle back the other way. So a uh, foul call. It looks as though that is J.C. May, and that's her fifth. So she's gonna be out, and that. Is going to bring the clock to a stop. I believe we may Callie. be. In there. <laughs> you can hear Callie May cheering for her sister. Good job on fouling out there. I guess is what she's trying to say. <laughs> and this is going to be rifle possession with about 14 seconds to work. It is Maisie Smith. Number 15 for the Bears is going to be on the throw, and Molly Brown's checking in in place of JC May. And here we are, throwing from the far side, just about at the midcourt line. Long, lofty ball. They're so strong. Rifle just is able to spread the ball around so well. Molly Brown, though, gets in there, gets a rebound, and is going to throw one, and it looks as though we've come to the end of this one. The horn sounds. And your final here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium is 62-21. to 21. For Vlad and Chase, I'm Lowen Epstein, live here on 98.9 KTYV or SteamboRadio.com. Catch us soon for the Steamboat Boys basketball game. Owen Epstein live here on 98.9 KTYV or SteamboRadio.com. Catch us soon for the Steamboat Boys basketball game. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. Oakland. Yamba Valley Bank. Alpine Lumber. Mountain View Car Wash. Steamboat Dental Center. And Chris Bucket with Denver Joe. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. Check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball. It was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance. The Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. Sports on FM 98.9 presents Steamboat Sailors Basketball only on 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace. Proud to support your Steamboat sailors. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer.
customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Docs are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Docs Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Jake Berry. I am a senior, and my number is four. I play shooting guard. I've been playing basketball for 12 years. I also like to play soccer. I'd like to go to college at uh, CU in Boulder. Um, I'm not going to play any sports besides intramurals. In 10 years, I see myself living in a big house with a hot wife. Outside of school, I am also involved in just working and hanging out with friends. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off because slow is hot. Last summer, I just worked at the Boys and Girls Club and hung out in town. My goals for this season are to win league and make it to the second round of state playoffs. And my goals for life is to be an architectural engineer. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the brotherhood with my teammates. I'm Jake Berry. I'm a senior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health Family. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Samantha Kennedy. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is four. I usually play guard or point guard. I've been playing for seven years. I also play lacrosse after basketball season. I would like to go to college at U of A in Arizona. I don't know if I'll play a sport in college. It would be fun to play lacrosse in college. I would love to be a lawyer after college or just as my job. Outside of school, I work a lot with my parents. My parents own a store called The Homesteader, and I help them. And my mom makes chocolate there, so I help her make chocolate. My favorite subject in school would probably be French class. I really love learning about French just because I use it. I would use it a lot more than Spanish because my mom's from Switzerland, so everyone speaks French over there on her side. My favorite movie would probably be Ace Ventura with Pet Detective because I've watched it since I was little. I've always wanted to be like a detective, and then I love animals. It's kind of a good mixture. Last summer, I went to some basketball camps. I went to a backpacking camp that was a week long um, down in Wyoming at the Wind River Wildlife Place. So I just went by myself, and there was people from all around the country came, and there was about like, seven of us, and it was a mixture between boys and girls. I was really scared at first because I never met these people, and then I was about to go backpacking for six days. It was really fun. We ended up ending early, like our backpacking trip ended early. Then we just kind of like swam. We did a lot of rock climbing. That was fun. So that was my highlight of the summer. My goals for this year is just to do good, I guess. I don't know, to score as many points as I can. What I remember most about being a sailor is how the team acts with each other and how we all become friends after and during the season and how we just like start to get to know each other a lot better and then you just make more friends. Um, my name is Samantha Kennedy. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Hey, Taylor basketball fans, P.J. Wartson of Yampa Valley Bank, here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student-athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and go Sailors! This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is the Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Katie Lake, and I'm a sophomore at Steamboat Springs High School. I'm number 11, and I play, I guess, all over for basketball, but mainly point guard. I also like to play soccer and swim team, and I sort of just recently picked up swim team. It was super fun. My favorite stroke is probably breaststroke. No, 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 no. My favorite stroke is butterfly. Butterfly, yeah. I'd like to go to college at Broad Institute of MIT to be a biomedical engineer. I want to play basketball in college, but I don't really know if that's going to happen. So, hope so. And in 10 years, I see myself maybe getting my PhD. Not so sure about that yet. Outside of school, I'm also really involved in... Oh, shoot. I forgot to read this question. Outside of... Uh, wait. You know what? I don't really... Homework? Maybe? Outside of school. Too much homework. Too much homework. It's ridiculous. Uh, my favorite subject in school is... Biology first and then history uh, with Miss Copeland. Biology because it just clicks for me. My favorite movie, I don't really have a favorite movie. Yeah, no. I just really like movies. They're good. They're fun. Last summer, I, oh goodness, I went, no, oh, I did a lot of PT rehab in my knee because um, I tore my ACL about a year ago. So I was playing soccer and I dislocated my knee. So my tibia or fibia, I can not remember which one's the thigh bone or which one's the calf bone, but the thigh bones went over the calf bone and um, my ACL just tore because it was stretched too far. My goals for the season are I guess to become a more reliable three-point shooter because that's something I definitely need to work on. It's my shot and my goals for life are just to be happy and make a positive difference in the world. Specifically with I guess genomics or stem cell research which will be really fun. But what I remember most about being a sailor is definitely my team because they're what makes it really really fun to play basketball. And my name is Katie Lake. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm proud to be you just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half 
fall a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! The team at Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detailed services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Dawson Lindquist. I'm a sophomore. I'm number 22. I play forward. I've been playing basketball ever since about fifth grade. I also like track and field. I like to high jump. I'd like to go to a college out of state, preferably, but it doesn't really matter to me. I would like to play basketball in college or I jump for a track and field. I see myself in 10 years living a happy life, staying connected with all the guys I met in high school and my friends. Outside of school, I am also involved in a um, a job. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Finding Nemo. Last summer, I made some really good memories with my friends, and I worked a lot, got a lot of money, so it was pretty fun. My goals for this season are to have the best season, the most fun that I've had since I've been in high school. My goals for life are to create a lot of good habits, to have a good paying job, and to be happy. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the respect and and humility that all the players show, and it's just fun to be around them. I'm Dawson Lindquist. I'm a sophomore. Proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Plan. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Plan, proud to support the Steamboat Hey, Sailor basketball fans, P.J. Wardson of Yampa Valley Bank, here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Ethan Piles, I'm a sophomore, number 23, position point guard, here's playing two. I like playing guitar, and I like to go to Michigan University. I want to play uh, basketball in college, and I hope that I can. I want to be a coach for basketball, hopefully. I'm also involved in drama, that's about it. I love American history, I love learning about stuff in the past. Um, last summer, basically went to P.O.'s and went over to my buddy's house every single day. My favorite memory is probably when I was on my diesel truck with my dad, and um, we went around delivering packages just because we traveled a lot, and I got a lot of eggs. And I love eggs. So there's that. That's my favorite memory. My favorite movie has the Toy Story. It's because of the idea of it. And like I always like pretending my toys are alive when I was little. So that's that. My goals are a league championship. I want to have a league championship and I want to win at least two playoff games this year. My goals in life. I want to be a successful high school coach at least. And I want to retire in Steamboat for sure. But I want to do that my whole life. I already know that for a fact. What I remember most about being a sailor. Probably the teamism. This team is really uh, tightly knitted and um, everyone respects each other on it. And I really like that. Ethan Piles, sophomore Proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Erica Simmons, and I'm a freshman. And um, my basketball number is number two, and I play point guard in wing. I've been playing basketball since first grade. I started playing in Tennessee, and then I moved here in fifth grade, and started playing here in fifth grade. And um, I like to play volleyball also, and I'm going to try and play lacrosse this year. I know that I want to go to college somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where yet. And I want to play basketball or volleyball volleyball in college, but I don't know if that's going to happen, so I just want to play as long as I can. In 10 years, I want to be in medical school or out of medical school and be able to like travel and go like, a lot of places and help people. Outside of school, I am involved with my community, I guess. We go and like volunteer at a lot of places and like help at the community center and kind of, I guess, do like community service. My favorite subject Subject in school is math and science. They're like super fun to me. My favorite movie is Moana because it's like a super fun movie and it's like she's super adventurous and like just like goes kind of wherever she wants, which is really cool and like travels across the ocean, which I think would be really fun to do. Last summer I went to Tennessee and Florida for like three weeks. We like visited a lot of our old friends and like family friends in Tennessee and then went and hung out with more friends in Florida. The weather was like awesome and we just hung out at the beach with our family. My goals for this season are to be like an all around good player, be like a good shooter, a good defender, and um, play as many games as I can and score as many points as I can and like get as many steals as I can and just like play hard all season. My goals for life are to be a like great person and a good like mentor for people and to be able to travel and kind of have fun with life. I guess. What I remember most about being a sailor is the awesome team that I get to be a part of and the awesome coaches who get to coach us and teach us and help us become better players and better people throughout the season. My name is Erica and I'm a freshman in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's dream. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Quinn Connell and I'm a junior. I'm number 11. I play point guard. I've been playing basketball since second grade. I Hi, also how are you? play soccer and lacrosse. I'd like to go to college either at CU or maybe somewhere on the West Coast. Thanks, Sam. I will not play sports in college and just focus on education. Um, in 10 years, I see myself being happy and just doing what I love. Outside of school, I'm also involved in too many hours of video games and binge watching Netflix. Yo, um, my favorite subject in school is either math 
or right after math, which is lunch. Um, favorite movie is The Hitman's Bodyguard because it's got lots of action and also has lots of comedy in it. Last summer, I carried a tree up a really big mountain with my soccer team for some reason, but I don't know. My goals for this season are to win Western Slope and win a couple playoff games also. My goals for life are just to be happy and do what I love. What I will remember most about being a sailor is all the friendships I've made. I'm Quinn Connell. I'm a junior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYB. Steamboat Springs. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Calumet Gymnasium, your Steamboat Sailors. are just about set to take on the Rifle Bears in the boys' match up here today. And uh, I'm Lon Chase, joined by Lowen Epstein. I was watching what was transpiring there at midcourt. Sorry. Some comedy. It's okay. Um, Palace counts two today. And we are just about <laughs> set for the opening tip-off. Your Steamboat Sailors in their home white uniforms, red numbers, black trim. Rifle in dark blue with yellow and white trim. And we got eight minutes on the clock. Lowen, of course, the girls coming off a tough loss just before this. But uh, there, there's a certain amount of pride for being a sailor, and the boys are going to want to come back here and kind of, you know, let Rifle know uh, who's the uh, cream of the crop here in the Western Slope League. It looks as though Steamboat's going to go right to left on the radio dial here in this first half of play. Right. Yeah, just like you said, the sailors are looking to bounce back here after, you know, they won last week when I was calling that game, and it was, they definitely overlooked. They were playing uh, Palisade, and Palisade was a three and 10 team. They definitely overlooked them, only won by, I think, two or three. Anyways, looking to bounce back here as Matt Rineker will be on the tip off, and both of them miss that one as the ball goes straight up and into the hands of Rifle, and controlling it is Trayson Lu Lu Luan. Luan now kicks it up top over to Joe Lopez. He's going to handle the ball. He's got Doyne on him. Lopez will hand it off over to Blake Swazi. Swazi back down low to Luan. Luan now inside, and it's Lopez. Goes up, switches hands, tries to get the layup to fall. Doesn't get it. Gets the put back, and no good there as well. But Blake Swazi comes in and tries to put it up. Excuse me, that was Evan Gray. And he doesn't get it to fall, but he'll get fouled. And right off the bat, he's at the line shooting two. Can't get into foul trouble here, as I think the Sailors are now looking at every opponent as someone who could potentially beat them, even though that's not necessarily the case. That's how Coach Van Dahl wants them to look at it. First one from Evan Gray is good as he gets set for a second one with 7.26 to go here in the first. Second one is up and out, but it's going to be tipped around a bit, finally touched out by Lopez, so this is going to be a sailor's ball. Mack Rineker will be on the inbounds pass here, and Jake Barry's going to take it up. Barry, the lone senior on this team, number four, will control it out of the top of the key. Looks left, goes between his legs, and finds Rineker inside. Rineker slowing things down here a little bit as he kicks it out inside to Aiden Canales, who tries to go up for the turnaround layup, but is blocked by Gray. It's tipped out of bounds, so this is going to be a sales possession. Quinn Connell back from his absence, but Ethan Piles is still going to get the start as the inbounds pass from Piles over to Jake Berry, top of the key, back to Piles, near side, top corner. Cross court over to Canals. He tries the three pointer, can't get it to fall, and it's just going to go out of bounds. This is going to be a rifle Bears ball. So the Bears with their second chance at some offense. A 1 0 game here in the first minute and seven seconds of play. 
And it's going to be thrown off of Rineker out of bounds. And so deja vu play here as Swayze didn't have any options. Trying to get some movement. Finally does. Full court press here for Steamboat. But right for does break it as this will be Church who takes it across the midcourt line. Trying to get away from the pressure of Barry. Dumps one off now to Lopez. Lopez in low at the baseline. And the man just loses the dribble. They say it went off of a defender. I thought that that was just a simple loss from Gray on his dribble. But good defense, I suppose, from Steamboat on that. one nothing play. Rifle. one nothing lead, sorry, for Rifle. And they do have another chance to extend this offensive possession here. Maybe get some points. The Bears are looking to attack from the near side now. It's taken up top there by Church. He just swings one over to the far side to Luan, and Luan gives it back to Lopez near side. Still up top. His pass intercepted by Doyne, and now here comes Steamo with their second chance at offense. Here is Jake Berry leading the charge to Doyne. Swung down to Rineker. He drives the line. Swings it up to Piles. Now to Berry. Back to Piles. Piles will take it to this near side. Top of the key. He does a fancy little move. Gets it into Rineker, and Rineker's just absolutely jumped over there. It looked like a little game of leapfrog. Great, great ball movement there from the Sailors as they were swinging it all around. Quinn Connell, number 11, like I said, coming back from his absence, checking in here. And it looks like he's going to take out Ethan Piles. Yeah, so. I think Piles kind of got a little shot there on that one, battling for position. Steamboat does still possess here. It's going to be Tyler Doyne, top of the key. Fires over to the far side, still up top. He finds Rineker. Rineker tried for the left-handed layup, but eventually just ran out of real estate and ran into three different bodies there for Rifle. And so, one nothing, still the score here with Rifle having a chance at another possession. Trying to break this full-court press here is Blake Swazi. Shoots it up court. It's Luan. Luan back to Swazi, running out of time here. Finally finds Church. And Church is going to send it out of bounds. They're going to say it was tipped out by the Sailors, though, so this is going to remain Bears basketball. Sailors a little confused on that call, as they, sh they thought it should have been their possession. Anyways, this is going to be Darian Church on the inbounds pass. Number 23 for the boys in blue. Church looks inside, finds Luan. Luan at the top of the key. He's got Colin guarding him. Dribbles left. Kicks it out to Lopez. Lopez now. Has Doyne on him. Back up top to Church. Church now over near side to Luan, and he tried to find Evan Gray inside, but there's going to be a whistle here. We'll see what this call is. Foul against Rineker, I believe. Yep. So Rineker is going to get the holding call. Just a possession foul as Church will be back on the inbounds pass. Church over to Luan now. Back over to Lopez near side, drives in, kicks it out to Gray, and Gray along the baseline goes up and is blocked by In Canals, gathers his own, gathers gathers the ball which is rolling around on the ground. So the so the Bears still control possession, and Mac Rineker gets called again for the reach in foul. He'll probably take a seat on the bench here, as they don't want to get him in foul trouble this early in the game. one nothing score, and sure enough. Dawson Linquist is going to come in for him. Like I was saying, 1-0 score, 5 one to play. This is still rifle ball as they've had a long possession here. Luan now is working versus Quinn Connell. Over to Lopez. Now down low to Swasi near side. Swasi looking for somewhere to go. Decides up top to send it over to Luan. Back down to Lopez. Lopez now drives in, kicks it out to Church at the top of the key. Church controls the ball. They're just really moving it around the horn now as this Sailor's interior defense is looking pretty solid early. It's Lopez trying to drive in, almost loses it, and the balls are going to be recovered by Gray. Cross-court pass back to Lopez. Drives in, kicks it out, it's Luan. Luan drives on the baseline, and they're going to get a push foul on Quinn Connell, even though his hands were up in the air as Church took a spill there. So there's another foul called against the Sailors with 4.19 to play. And it's Church. Jay put up from Luan is no good. Sailors back the other way. And it's a fast break as Tyler Doyne goes in for the layup and didn't get it, but he'll shoot too. That was a long possession there from the Bears. It's been a really long possession so far. This is only the third time Steamboat's had offense 
and we're almost halfway through the first quarter. And that was the third for the rifle, too. I mean, we're split pretty evenly here, but man, you're right. Going to knock down his first, he does. Yeah, hopefully they can put up some points here too. This Sailors offense is you know, the last game I was calling versus Palisade, the score at halftime was 14 to 14. And I talked to Coach Vandal after the game, and he was unhappy about that. These these boys should be putting putting up way numbers, way higher numbers than than that as we're used to seeing. Well, I mean, we're halfway through the first and we've got two. So the set, both <laughs> free throws from Doyne are good. Bears back the other way now. Rifle's gonna try to attack here with Seaman taking it. And he'll give it back up top for Finnegan. Finnegan throws it near side now. Finds Seaman once more to give and go play. And man runs into a wall there. Knaus and Link was both there for the stuff. And here comes Steamboat now, Doyne. Going to kick it out to Knaus, near side to Connell. Three ball, no good. Rebounded, though, as it's into the hands of Gray, and he will just slow it down. This is the Bears kicking it outside, and there's a three ball attempt from Seaman, and he hits it. I think they're only going to give him two there on that play. Oh, no, they, they did give him three. Excuse me. So four to two is your score as Jake Berry controls it. Piles, they're going to check back in here soon. Jake Berry swings around the horn. It's Quinn Connell down low. Connell looks inside, finds Barry at the top of the key. Now over to Doyne near side top corner. Doyne looks left, looks right, doesn't know where to go. Finds Barry at the top of the key. Back over to Connell, driving, kick it out to Canals. Here's a three ball attempt and can't get that one to fall. Just off the inside rim and out as the Bears will take it back the other way with Jacob Seaman leading the way. Seaman over to Church down near side top corner. Church over to Horshack and Horshack controls the ball. It's Church now, near side top corner, moving it around the horn. Horshack controls it down low and almost loses it as Dawson Linquist got his hands in there. And before we see another two minute possession, we're gonna see a timeout from the Bears. 4-2 is your score with 2.33 left to play in this first. I want to thank Docs Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank member FDIC. Also Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. As well as Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Woody and the team or check them out online at steamboatdentalcenter.com. So, a really, really quiet first quarter play so far. Only six points total. Leading the way is Seaman. He had that three ball. Gray had one of his two from the line go in. And then, of course, Doyne had or made both of his from the free throw line. And I, I don't know that we'll really see any more of Mac Rineker until possibly quarter number two. He may not even start that second quarter. He had two fouls in the first three minutes of this one. So, possession here for Rifle. 4-2 lead for the Bears. It's going to be Horshack who will take this from the top of the key. Works to the far side. Three ball was there for Seaman. He didn't take it. Instead goes back up top. Horshack on the near side of the three lane now. Will take this one going against Lindquist. Stops and picks the dribble up. And almost a nice little read there from Connell, but it'll be taken back instead by Robinson, who quickly goes up to Seaman. Near side now to Horshack. Top of the key. Picks the dribble up. Finds Robinson far side. Takes it back to the middle of the court here. In quickly now to Seaman. He just tries to get free of Ethan Pyle's defense. And we have ticked down under two minutes left in quarter number one. In comes Robinson. And that layup no good. Hits off of Rifle. And possession now for Steamboat. The Sailors probably want to pick some points up here. It's not pressing. They're not down by any more than just two. So it's a close game. But... For the sake of offense, like you said, Lowen, they didn't score a lot. They only got 38 in that last game, right? And so, I mean, they, they just want to start picking their offense up and building some momentum here. That's going to be worked to Piles near side, drives the paint, now gives one off to Doyne, and it looks as though a foul called for pushing, and so possession will be maintained here for Seamboat. Ref's getting a little whistle happy here. It's nice to see the guys just play the game. 
and uh, stop having so much stoppage. But what can you do as Sailors are going to be on the inbounds pass. It's Ethan Piles over to Linquist, kicks it back out to Connell. Connell now works inside, cross court to Doyne, goes up and fingertip grabs that one. And it's tipped out of bounds by Rifle, will remain Steamboat possession with 126 left to play. Evan Gray is going to check back in here. He'll take out Blake Swazi. And Doins on the inbounds pass. Doins find, finds Piles. He tries the three ball, hits it. Ethan Piles putting life into this offense and getting him going from behind the arc. Piles check. He nailed it. <laughs> back the other way is Trayson Luan. Luan over to Horshack up top. Luan controls it now inside to Swassi. He'll go in and there's Tyler Doyne taking the charge foul as Swassi bodied him up and Doyne went to the floor. So there's a turnover there and the Sailors will have possession. So Ethan Piles taking it up court now. Kicks it over to Quinn Connell. Connell near side top corner. Dribbles left and shoots it down low to Piles. Inside tries to find Aiden Knauss and he runs his fingers through his hair in disgust at himself as he knew he should have made that, that pass go to Knauss. So that's a turnover there from the Sailors as it's going to be Jacob Seaman taking it up the floor now. Seaman over to Luan. Luan now near side top corner. Kicks it over to Horshack. Down low to Lopez. Lopez now back up to Luan. And they're just kicking it around the horn now. It's Jacob Seaman back over to Horshack. Over to Luan far side. Inside now it's Swassi. Let's see if he can post up. But they're going to get him for the travel as he tried to back up into Aiden Knauss and just took a few too many steps. So Mac Rineker checking in here with Aiden Knaus coming out as well as Jake Berry. He'll check in for Quinn Connell. Sailor's going to have possession here. They've got 24 seconds to play. Here we go, folks. It's Jake Berry taking up the floor. 20 seconds to go now. 5-4 Sailor's lead. Goes between his legs. Top of the key. Works it. Tries to get off the pick and instead sends it over to Piles. Hand off back to Berry now. We've got 10 seconds to go. And... With 10 seconds, it's Ethan Piles. Looks inside, finds Rineker. Goes up for the layup and can't get it to fall here. But with no time left on the clock, that'll do it for this first quarter of action. Sailors lead 5-4. And I'm Lowen Epstein along with Vlad and Chase live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium where your Sailors are in a low-scoring affair with the Rifle Bears. We'll be back in one minute for this second half of action. Gymnasium, where your sailors are in a low scoring affair with the Rifle Bears. We'll be back in one minute for this second half of action. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Plant. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert I service to around. The tech and it wasn't doing it. Are you you got more of my and go the extra there's no, mile to give no you the peace of mind you need to know bathroom. your vehicle is safe. We take care of you oh, nice. and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Plant, proud to support the Steamboat Hey, Sailor basketball fans, TJ Wards and the Bianca Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Bianca Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Bianca Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, your Steamboat Sailors boys squad on top 5-4 after the first eight minutes of play. It'll be a Sailors possession here as we begin quarter number two. Jake Berry fires it to Linquist. Sailors on the floor, Linquist, Berry, Rineker, Piles, and Doyne, the starters. Here is Rineker stuffed there by uh, the hand of Swayze. 
And now it's going to be a baseline drive at the other end for Rifle. And then a quick kick out pass is going to hit off of a defender. Nice job there from Steve getting the hand in the lane. But Rinnaker a little bit uh, quieter than we're usually used to seeing him here with those early fouls. He had to take a seat just, just under three minutes into the game. Back out there now. Rifle with possession, though, though. And seven and a half minutes left in second quarter play. It's worked to the top of the key once more. Waiting for it there is Luan. He gives it off to Robinson, far side. Robinson turns back up top once more, finds the hands of Church, kicks it to the near side, and Rifle just working it around the perimeter here. Now they try and go inside to Swayze. He goes up and is blocked by Doyne. It piles back the other way now. Great defensive effort there from Doyne as he'll handle it now. Kicks it down low to Barry. Barry, number four, the lone senior on this team, gives it up top to Lindquist. Hand off to Ethan Piles coming around the horn. Spins back, finds Doyne near side top corner, and Doyne works it. And he's going to get it picked off, and it's Lopez back the other way on the fast break, and gets Ethan Pyle sliding, misses the layup, gets the put back, can't get it to fall, and Doyne grabs the rebound. What a nice job there from the Sailors running the court to get back on defense after the error from Tyler Doyne, and they prevented any Balls from going in that bucket. As we're going to see a whistle here. It looks so as though a foul against uh, Rifle, against Church. So this is going to be Ethan Piles on the inbounds pass, number 23 for your Sailors. Before that, we're going to see Evan Gray checking in here. Gray is going to sub out Joe Lopez. And Ethan Piles on the inbounds pass. Calls for movement. Finds Doyne on the inside. Can't get it to go. And it's Rineker handling it. But he's just going to get it stolen away. And it's Luan back the other way for Rifle. Now here's an interception from Rineker himself. Comes back into the play. Makes an excellent play himself. Goes up. No foul. He gathers in the loose ball. Now he'll just toss this one to the far side of the court. And Matt Rineker a little bit... Uh, a little bit out of sorts here. We're not used to seeing him like this. And I'm not sure. Maybe he's battling off a of sickness or something. 5-4 the score. I mean, early on, still only nine points totaled. And we have now eclipsed that 10-minute mark of the game. And so, quite a surprise. Great look there from Piles. He's the other way. And a layup will drop. Ethan Piles is going to... Save Wadden, you can just uh, insert mouth into <laughs> foot here. It's all taken down and go the length. Darian Church now working it up. Spin move, kicks it outside. It's Garrett Robinson. Up top now, over to Luan. And down low to Darian Church. Top of the key now, works it is rifle. And they're going to see it down low to Luan. Luan now pulls up from three-point range, and it's blocked by Rineker. He got his fingertips on that one. Didn't go more than 10 feet, and it's going back the other way. But we're going to see a timeout called by the Sailors. And as the whistle blew, Doyne went up for the layup and just took out two guys. So with 5.05 left to go, excuse me, the Sailors lead 7-4. to four. Great defensive effort here from the boys in white. Just need to... Hit the twine a little bit more. There's a hockey term. A cross term, too. Anyway, that's 505 left. Want to thank Mountain View Car Wash helping the Sailors clean the competition between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's at 879 1515. Want to thank Mr. Sumner, goaltender, for the Steamboat Sailors hockey team. For doing the board here for us this evening. We've got a, a bunch of rookies doing it here today. So that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like coming out of this timeout, it's going to be Sailor's ball. Jake Barry handling it. He's at the top of the key. Barry looks left, finds Doyne. He'll run it around the horn back to Barry. Up top now to Doyne. And Doyne number five for the Sailors. Kicks it down low to Linquist. He drives the baseline, goes up. Fadeaway Jay is blocked. And luckily it's tipped right into the hands of Aiden Knauss. Sent down low to Barry. Drives in back out to Knauss. He tries a three ball of his own. No good there. And this is the Rifle Bears back the other way. I've been corrected. A veteran on the board. Monica's back there working it for us. So Patrick left early. 
take note of what time you left, Monica. I'm going to have to make sure that I don't give him any, any extra hours, you know what I mean? 4.20 to go here <laughs> in this second stanza as we've got a 7-4 lead for Steamboat Rifle possession, however. It's worked up top by Horshack. He gives one off to Seaman on the far side. And now it's going to be worked back outside again on a little give-and-go play. Robinson has it to the near side to Horshack. Horshack is going to dribble, picks it up, and will be forced to work it down low. Looked as though the guy stepped on the line. Another layup that does not drop. That one from Lopez. Rebound, fought for, and eventually it's a travel call against Quinn Connell. And so Rifle will still have the ball here. It seems as though, I mean, it's just the pace of play perhaps, but both of these teams right now really going with longer offensive possessions. Steamboat hasn't really picked it up. You're absolutely right. Just uh, kind of working it around the horn and not really driving in as much as we're used to seeing. And that results in the lack of points. It's going to be rifle with this. Robinson to Horshack near side. Three and a half to go here in the first half of play. Back over to Lopez in the paint. That pass picked off. Quinn Connell ends up with it in his hands. And he'll just take this one up with a little bit of speed in his step. Gives one off to Doyne. Doyne far side, deep corner. Up top now to Piles, near corner. Beyond the arc, it is going to be taken by Connell and a kick defensively against Robinson. So maintain possession for Steamboat. And we'll see if the Sailors can come up with some points here. Wow, three minutes to go. And uh, they've only got seven points today so far. Yeah, kind of definitely not what Coach Mikey Vandal wants to see after that game last week versus Palisade. And now there's a turnover there as Jake Berry got caught up looking for the pass from Quinn Connell. Just sails out of bounds. Sailors are going to put in a full court press here now. And this is going to be Blake Swazi on the inbounds pass. He's going to find number 30, Jacob Seaman. He'll run around a little bit and there's going to be a foul called on Ethan Piles. That's got a push foul there as Ethan Piles gains and gets another one called against him. So Horshack on the inbounds pass, kicks it down to Joe Lopez, inside to Swazi, working versus Canals, and it's blocked again from Canals, gets his fingertips on it, cross court, and Ethan Piles tried to find Quinn Connell back the other way, and it just goes right over his head out of bounds. So there's a turnover there from the Sailors. Rifle's going to come up. Still 7-4. <laughs> to 2.46 to go. Steamboat is right to left on the radio dial here. Rifle, though, with possession in the offensive half for the Bears. It's going to be Horshack. And the pass for a moment taken away by Barry. Right back to possession for Rifle. Three ball, no good. Rebounded, though. And it'll be worked into Swayze, who's up. And they will give him the points. Swayze drops it. And one here as he gets his first points of the game. And if he makes this one, we can be all knotted up at seven apiece. 2.26 left in the second quarter. Yes, the second quarter of play. <laughs> that means that we have now played just about 14 minutes. So we're averaging about a point a minute. So that's neat. Worked up off a three ball from Barry. No good. Rebounded by Connell. Great hustle in the far corner. Gets it to Canals. Reverse layup. No good. Rebounded by Canals. And he puts a couple home. Nice job there from Canals to stay with it as the Bears are going to take it back. It's Luan. Kicks it down low to Lopez. Drives the baseline. But they're going to get him for the travel call there. As he tried to stutter step past Tyler Doyne and just took a few too many. So this is going to be the Sailors ball. We've got 2.02 to play here, folks. Sailors retain a three-point lead, and Jake Berry handles it at the top of the key. Jake Berry over to Doyne. Back up top to Quinn Connell, and they're just going to work it down low to Ethan Piles, and Doyne kicks it back out to Jake Berry. He tries a three-pointer. It looks like that was tipped up by Horshack and blocked. Nope. No, it wasn't. It was just a... Just a bad yeah, shot, I guess. And it goes out of bounds. So Rifle continues to carry possession. It's going to be the Bears trying to three ball their own. Another air ball. 
kept in play by Rifles Lopez, but it's going to end up in the hands of Barry, and Jake Barry takes up for Steamboat. Crosses the midcourt line, gives one off to Ethan Piles. Piles goes down to Quinn Connell. Connell steps free of one man, gives it back to Barry to the top of the key for waiting Piles, and Ethan Piles makes his way to the near side. Swung over to Barry, now into the hands of Connell. Into the paint there, looking for Doyne. Doyne is forced to give it back out to Connell. Inside now to Barry, kicked oh. out to Doyne. Great looking passing play. Shot as an air ball, rebounded by Knaus. He loses it initially, goes for the reverse, ends wow. up getting fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Just rough offensive start for the Sailors this first half. Is they don't? It, it looks like they don't know what they're doing out there. Not. It's just not the usual team we're seeing. As they, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of not knowing where to pass the ball. I saw Quinn Connell trying to get into the head of his guys, saying, "You know, you, you guys know the plays. Let's execute." And that's not what they're doing here early, and the scoreboard shows it as they've only been able to muster nine points with 57 seconds to go in the first. Kanaus hits the free throw. And we found double digits. Finally. So rifles back the other way with Garrett Robinson leading the way. Robinson twists and turns past Ethan Piles. Kicks it out to Blake Swazi. He's near side top corner. Swazi over to Seaman. Seaman now works left. And they're going to call a timeout. The rifle bears. I want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors here. Mountain View Car Wash helping the sailors clean the competition between town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon 879-1515 and Sailor Seamote Ace Hardware, excuse me. The helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more by offering our customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. What do you think so far, Vlad? What's the issue? Our shooting is not on. Nothing's on. Nothing's on right now. You can't even say it was one thing. It's not just the shooting. I mean, as it stands for the Sailors, they've had a couple really nice plays where they've opened up the free shot, and then they'll miss that. And then other times and other possessions, they won't be able to make their pass. And then other possessions still, they'll have men who've been in the paint and have gone up and just lost the ball, had it swatted two at times, so don't discredit Rifle fully on that. But man, it just seems like whatever they do, Rifle's there or the miscues there. On the other side of the ball, the Rifle's only got six points. They had a number of kind of quirky possessions themselves and of course we've seen some really long possessions for both teams as well couldn't agree more I mean that was well said really when you sum when you dim that down a bit it's the Sailors not being able to run the offense and here we go now with Garrett Robinson controlling it kicks it outside this is Jacob Seaman Seaman now over to Swazi and down low back up to Robinson top of the key now it's Church handling it over to Swazi far side top corner they're just trying to work this ball around now not really making the effort to drive in versus this Sailors defense that's the one good thing you could say oh, it's this, fantastic yeah, this, I mean that doesn't make any sense for Rifle either yeah. like they're down right now I know they're probably looking for the last shot but four seconds to go here in the half as Church handles it, kicks it out. We're going to see a very terrible three-point attempt from Jacob Seaman as that one wasn't even within 10 feet of the rim. And that will do it here, folks, for this first quarter of action. Surprising score as Sailors go into the locker room leading 10-6. to six. Back with more. This is your Sailor Sports Connection. KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM, also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Back with more. This is your Sailor Sports Connection. KTYV 98.9. Sports on FM. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. 
You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. Sponsored Dos Auto Clinic. Campbell Valley Bank. Alpine Lumber. Mountain View Car Wash. Steamboat Dental Center. And Chris Bucket with Denver Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. And check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball. It was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance. The Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. Sports on FM 98.9 presents Steamboat Sailors Basketball, only on 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology, where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. The team at Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. Chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Mac Rimmaker. I'm a junior in high school. I wear number 20. I am a forward. I started playing basketball in the third grade. I also like football and rugby. I don't know where I want to go to college, but if I do play in college, I will play basketball. Uh, in 10 years, I see myself with a successful job and living a happy life. Outside of school, I am involved in SMT. My favorite subject in school is math because it's my last class of the day. My favorite movie is Transformers because it's just an action movie, which is a classic. Uh, last summer, I visited my brother in Wisconsin. I checked out a couple colleges, and I did a lot of camping. My goals this season is to win league and compete for Western Slope Player of the Year. My goals in life are to just be a productive member of society. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the good guys and family that are good teammates. I'm Mac Renicker, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports. 98.9. Hey, Sailor basketball fans. P.J. Wards and the Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Molly Kleins, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 25, and my position is point guard. I've been playing for six years, and I also like to play soccer. I'd like to go to college somewhere in Colorado or Wisconsin. If I play in college, it will probably be soccer. In 10 years, I see myself being a special education teacher. Outside of school, I'm also involved in club sports like soccer and basketball. My favorite subject in school is writing. I 
favorite movie is Zootopia because of the majestic characters. Last summer, I worked for Stars, which is a local sports adaptive program, and I definitely think that could be in my future. And I really love just spending time with the kids. My goals for the season are to become a better shooter and a better teammate. And my goals for life are to have a dog and name it Simon. Simon would be a golden retriever. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the positive environment that the school has. I'm Molly Klein, sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat Sailor, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Jimmy Osborne. I'm a junior. My number is 34, and I play center power forward. I've been playing since I was in third grade. I don't really play any other sports, but I'd like to play track. Uh, I'd like to go to college at Western or Mesa. I'm not sure if I would want to play in college. I, in 10 years, I see myself living a happy life, maybe in Steamboat. Outside of school, I'm also involved in team council. My favorite subject in school is history. My favorite movie is Jaws the Revenge, just because of how cordy it is. Last summer, I worked at Stars and had a lot of great memories there. My goals for this season are to become the Western Slope League champion. My goals in life are to go to college and have a good life. What I'll remember most about being a sailor is all the good times I've had with my teammates. I'm Jimmy Osborne. I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Kelly Meeks. Stadium. Your Steamboat Sailor is just about set to get the second half underway, and hopefully it'll be a little bit better than half number one, I'll tell you that much. I mean, defensively, he has held a team to six points, so that's pretty fantastic. But they had a lot of empty possessions offensively and only have scored ten points themselves. So they do have the lead, 10-6, but that's through 16 minutes of play. So we still ended the half at one point per minute. Yeah, you know, we, we have three guys on the team who are six foot four. You got to drive the pain, and I'm sure that's what Coach Van Dahl was saying in the locker room. You got to drive in. You can't rely on these guys like Ethan Piles and Aiden Canals to just shoot three pointers all day from behind the arc, and they're clearly not taking, you know, 
two-point jumpers in the paint either. So I think the key to winning this one is just going to play their regular basketball, let Reneker run the show, and uh, dump it off to the guys. Just put it in. Just put it in the. Just, just make the just most make, of your opportunities. Exactly. Just make. Just make whoa, a shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, here we go. We're underway. It's Team Up Sailors. I left right on the radio dial here in this second half of play. It's going to be a first possession though for Rifle as we come out, and it'll be worked around the rim. Swayze gives one off. It'll be worked to the near side. Almost intercepted by Piles. Open up a lane though for the drive. A shot there from Luan. Not going to drop. And it's back it away for Jake Berry and company. Quickly up to Piles to Knaus to Berry. Top of the key three ball. Berry, that's good. Jake Berry. There you go. Moved it around and took the three-pointer. Great job there from Jake Berry. And back the other way is going to be Rifle. It's Derry and Church at the top of the key. Church handles it. He's working versus Berry. And he'll take it down low to Swayze. Swayze, there's going to be a whistle here. And before he can get the pass off, there's going to be a timeout on Rifle. So with just 45 seconds into this third quarter, Sailors have hit a three, extending this lead to 13 to six. And now we see a timeout from the Bears. I mean, at this rate, defensively, they could just lock it down, play the same game, and we win 13-12. Great analysis there. You're welcome, Mr. Chase. All I've got to say is you're welcome. Quick shout out to Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. The Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC, and Alpine Lumber employee owned and operated the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. This is going to be Rifle throwing it in now. It's Darian Church on the throw in. Church finds Jacob Seaman. Seaman at the top of the key, works it near side to to uh, Trace and Luan, and now it's Church top of the key. Bounce pass over to Swayze. Swayze down low. This is Seaman controlling the ball. Works it around the horn to Church. Church down low to Luan. And Luan, number 14 for this rifle team, working versus Piles. Kicks it out now to Seaman. And it's back up top to Church where we started, over to Luan. They're just trying to work it around the horn now. It's almost like they're afraid to to drive in on this Sailors team. They, they probably watched film and seen what Tyler Doyne can do in the paint <laughs> on this defensive end of the ball. It's Swayze near side top corner. Up top over to Seaman and over to Luan. Swayze top of the key. Works it to Church and Jake, uh, Jake Berry gets his hands in there. Tips it out but it's saved by Luan and finally brought back to Seaman at the top of the key. So Seaman over to Luan now. Luan over to Church. Pump fake. Tries to get Ethan Piles off his horse and kicks it back over to Seaman. At this rate, this possession is going to last to the end of the quarter. Vlad and I, I'm not sure what to say here. Is there 13-12 is a little smarter now, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Luan controls it. And he's going to try to drive in, but kicks it out to Church, who tries the three-pointer. And all of that ball movement for the past three minutes, for nothing, as the three-pointer does not fall. Sailor's back the other way now. It's Rineker, and he's showing us how it's done as he drives in, kicks it out to Piles. Piles now top of the key, works it over to Doyne. Doyne inside to Barry, wide open shot there, and the layup is good from Jake Barry. And they're taking him to school here on how to on how to work the ball in the paint as Luan back the other way kicks it up top to Evan Gray and he falls on it there's a scuffle here as Rineker and Aiden Canals were involved in that they're gonna call it jump ball and this was gonna be a sailor's possession so that possession didn't last as long <laughs> and it results in a sailor's ball whoa 5.02 to go here 15 to 6 lead for Steamboat, and up comes Jake Berry. Works to the near side, quickly back up top to Rineker into Berry once more. Berry did not take the shot. Look at Zoe had it. Now he does, and he gets stuffed by Swayze. It's off Swayze last, and it will be a quick little change as Quinn Connell comes in for Piles, and Steamboat does maintain the offensive possession here. Piles. 
has already made his count. He's at five, so plus three there on the count. Now it's going to be Rinker off the inbound pass. Swings it up top to Barry. Now along further to Tyler Doyne. Doyne drives the paint, kicks out to Connell. Through the legs there. Nice move from Quinn Connell. Along further to deep corner near side to Knauss. Work through the hands of Rinneker to Barry. Far side three ball, no good. Rebound. Initially got away from Rifle. And then they're going to say it did end up going off of Quinn Connell. Dawson Lindquist going to check in the game here along with Ben Ogden for the for this rifle team. And rifle controls the ball with Blake Swayze under the basket. We'll work this up court as it's going to be Seaman. Gets across midcourt line. Fires off to Horshack. Along now to Robinson. Back up to the top to Horshack. Top of the key. Works to the near side. Still well, be a, well above the arc. Robinson to Horshack. Horshack's going to try and make a move. And eventually looks for a pass to Swayze. He's got it. Hands one off to Seaman. Steps around the big body of Swayze. Doesn't like his shot. And decides to just continue up to the top of the key. Through that top to Horshack with the pass. And now Robinson near side. Up top again to Seaman. Once more does not take the shot. Seaman's into the paint. Holy moly. Now to Horshack outside. Three ball. No good. Rebounded <laughs> by Jake Barry. Barry back the other way quickly now. Looking inside. And goes behind his back. Shoots it back out. Rineker almost misses it and saves the over and back call. And finds in Knaus. Top of the key. Cross court over to Quinn Connell. Great hands there for Mac Rineker to save that ball. That would have been a turnover. Rineker controls it. Sends it down low to Barry. Barry looking for somewhere to go. Finds Linkwist over to Mac Rineker now. Back to Linkwist. Top of the key. Linkwist controls it. It's almost picked off. But Jake Barry has good hands. Controls that one. And Barry sends it over to Linquist. Linquist now stutter step, drives in, loses it, and that's going to be a turnover there. His rifle went back the other way, and Mac Rinniger picked it off, gets the layup, 17 to 6. Mac Rinniger, great heads up play there as he saved his teammate from the agony of a turnover. And Rifle has it now after the Mac Rinniger layup. Quick possession there for the Bears. And here comes Simo back the other way once again. Rinniger tried to drive in. And a foul against Rifle. Mac Rineker, that was his first two points of the game. So, still not a lot of scoring here. 17-6. to six. We've picked up, we being the Sailors, of course, picked it up a little bit. We've got seven here. So, almost matched our first half total. Pass comes inside to Rineker. He tries a Euro step, left-handed layup. And that will be two foul shots for Mac Rineker. He just glanced up at the scoreboard, not very happy seeing that it's uh, only 17 points on the board with 2.38 left here in the third quarter. Yeah. Rineker will drop his first one in, and we'll get a substitution as coming to play is Treviso for his first taste of action here on the evening. Matt Grinnaker wearing number 20 for the Sailors. Anyone who's listened to us this year knows that he's really the main hub on this team. Had a couple 30-point games and looking to up that total tonight as Rinneker misses the free throw, gets his own rebound, and now he's back outside. He kicks it out to Connell along the baseline now, goes off his toe, handles it well, though, gathers it, kicks it up to Barry, back to Connell. Low side to Aiden Canals, tries the three ball. That's going to be no good. Up and into the arms of Christian Treviso. Treviso. Outlet pass. It's Church inside to Swa Swayze. Swayze back outside to Treviso. He tries the 12 footer. That one's good. Treviso with the 12 foot J trying to get this rifle offense going. And Jake Barry controls it back the other way. Aiden Knaus inside. Goes up the lamp. Gets blocked. And it, the, the ball went off of his back as it bounced off the rim. So they're going to award this possession to Rifle. So the Bears will inbound this, but it'll be a violation on the time. Swayze couldn't get that one off fast enough, and with under two minutes to go here, Steamboat's got the 18-8 lead, and they're looking to push out to 20 points here if they can make a bucket. Inbound pass goes to Rineker, who just runs into a defender and then loses possession out of bounds, and so another quick turnover there 
as Rifle once more try the inbound play. Full court press, though, for the Sailors, and they're not going to make it easy breaking this one out as it's an interception, and Barry gives it to Connell. Connell's layup no good. Whitaker with the rebound on the offensive board, and then eventually... We've got the official right there in the way as Rineker is just trying to bowl his way into uh, into the paint there for Steamboat, and it will be a possessive foul. 1.45 to go. Connell looking for some movement here, and he's got Barry. Releases. Pops one. No good. Another rebound, and it hit off of Rifle, so Steamboat will once again keep this. Nice heads up playing from Steamboat here. 18 to 8 the lead and they're still looking to pop out and get that 20th point here. Inbound pass quickly to Rineker. Rineker's dispossessed though and it will be rifle the other way an opportunity to fast break. No good. Rebound swatted there by Aiden Canals. Rifle does have the ball though and it's going to be worked in by Seaman. Turns oh. and fires a jump and wow play. that one. That was a nice wow. shot there from Jacob Seaman and Chips away at this lead. It's Mac Rineker now taking it out. Finds Quinn Connell on the outside, and he hits the three-pointer. Quinn Connell, big things. 21 to 10 is your score. We've got a buck 11 to go in this third quarter of action as Garrett Robinson controls the ball. Robinson, 4v4, working versus Jake Berry, the other number four is what I meant, and Jacob Seaman controls it. Out to Robinson. <laughs> Darian Church has it. Back out to Swayze. And this is Robinson once more. This timid rifle team still too afraid to drive the paint as Jacob Seaman goes to the floor with Quinn Connell. They're going to get Connell for the personal foul there. We're going to see a substitution here. Tyler Doyne and Ethan Piles both checking in for Mac Rineker and Jake Berry, you can see the disappointment on Rineker's face as he's not quite having the game of his life here. Here's a three-point attempt, and that one's no good from Jacob Seaman, but the rebound is gathered by the Bears, and number 32, Blake Swayze, drove in. Uh, is that a shooting foul there? No, they didn't. There, this is just a possession foul. So the Bears will keep the ball. Darian Church will be on the throw-in. Church calls for movement, finds his teammate on the bounce pass. That was Trayson Luan. Can't get the quick J to fall, though, and Sailors are back the other way with Tyler Doyne ha handling the ball. Ethan Piles, top of the key. He works. He's got 20 seconds to go here. 21 to 10 is your score. Ethan Piles, just about 15 now. He's going to have the last shot of the game. Number 23 for your Sailors. Kicks it over to Tyler Doyne. He's going to drive in, go up for the layup, and he gets it. With five seconds to play here. Clock running, and this is going to do it for this first excuse me, third quarter of action with the Tyler Doyne layup. 23 to 10 is your score going in, into this final frame. I'm Lowen Epstein with Vlad and Chase live here on KTYV 98.9. Back in 60 seconds. Epstein with Vlad and Chase live here on KTYV 98.9. Back in 99. 60 seconds. Steve Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Back with you here. 
Second quarter of play from Kelly Meek Gymnasium. Simo Taylor is on top of the Rifle Bears, 23-10 in boys basketball here. Earlier, the Rifle Bears lady squad was able to beat the Sailors heftily. 7.37 to go. I think they got 60 plus. 62 to 21 was yeah. the final. Oh, wow. What a move there from Evan Gray as he sent Aiden Canass flying. Couldn't get the fadeaway jumper to fall. And back the other way was Mac Lineker. I'm not sure what that call was there. Offensive. So this is going to be a turnover here as Mac Lineker gets another foul against him. And the Rifle Bears are going to have possession. 23-10. 7.23 to go in the game. It's going to be Seaman who takes this. Fires a quick pass over to Luan. Luan up top. Runs the hands of Church. Church at the top of the key. Got it over to Seaman. Seaman's double team now as Tyler Doyle comes back on him. And swings out to Luan. Luan now trying to get away from that uh, Rocky Mountain Rumble here in this stands as the faithful making some noise for the Steamboat Sailors. It's going to be worked on the far side of the court once again. Taking it there is Gray. Gray knocks Ooh. down Knauss. And that's it all. Oh no, they're going to say that was against Knauss. The crowd can't believe it. <laughs> you can probably hear the boos coming through the microphone here as this is going to remain a rifle ball. And off the inbounds pass, it's picked off by Mac Lineker. Goes up and throws it down. Mac Lineker with the dunk gets the crowd on, his, on their feet. Wow. 25 to 10. Lineker bringing life to the building. And this is Trayson Luan for the Bears. I don't know how they can bounce back from that embarrassment as Luan tries a three-pointer, and that one's off. It's going to be Doyne on the rebound. Sailors back the other way. Here's Tyler Doyne up to the top of the key. Ethan Piles swung to the near side. There's Barry and oh! Piles. And one. <laughs> In Canals hits the three-pointer and gets fouled. And just like that, the Sailors have found themselves here with 6-10 left in the game. So Aiden Canales could make this a four-point play as he heads to the stripe to shoot one more. There's going to be a timeout here from the Bears as they've only been able to muster 10 points. I don't know when the last time they scored was. Vladen. Back in the third quarter. <laughs> I mean, that's not saying much. We've got a minute and 50 only elapsed here in fourth quarter action. I want to thank Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car, Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley is only locally owned bank, member FDIC. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, homeowner's friend. Also, Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon, 879 15 15. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. Offering customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. As well as UC Healthy and Valley Medical Center helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling short-handed. 6-10 left here in this one. 28-10. Steam are finally starting to find a little bit of themselves in the second half of play. As they were able to muster up 13 points in the third quarter already with five here in quarter number four. After a relatively disappointing 10 points in the first half. So the in one play here, Aiden Knaus is going to be at the line. Knaus has six points on the game after making that three ball. And he will shoot this one up and no good. Rebounded by Doyne though. Doyne is harassed and just takes this one out of the paint. Goes behind his back, spins and throws one out to Piles. Had to reach for it so it didn't stop and pop. Instead, it's worked around the perimeter here by the Sailors. Piles has it again. Far side to Doyne. Doyne fakes a drive. Now he's going to get some help. Gives it off to Rineker. Near side, still beyond the arc. It's going to be Ethan Piles. Drives into the paint. Euro step. Whips. Good. Great job there from Piles. And he gets two more to his name. And he is up to seven. 
on the game. 30 to 10 the score with five and a half to go here in fourth quarter play. Gary Robinson back the other way. Sends it over to Jacob Seaman. He tries a deep three pointer and that one's no good. Gathered by Mac Rinnaker. Here we go folks. The fast break goes up for it. Floater. That one's good. Mac Rinnaker. Big things here tonight. 32 to 10 is your score. 518 left to play and Mac Rinnaker turning on the heat late. This is Garrett Robinson for the Bears. Over to Horshack near side top corner. Horshack drives in, goes up for the layup, and is almost rejected by Rineker, but instead it's just an air ball. And so the Sailor's back the other way. Jake Bear was taking up the floor there. He got tripped up by Trayson Luan, and there's a whistle. So with this game pretty much out of reach, 4.55 left to play. We're going to see Connor Hansen come in the game here. He got significant playing time last week as Quinn Connell was out. So both Connor Hansen and Dawson Linquist, the two sophomores, are going to get some more minutes here. Linquist had some early minutes. Mm-hmm. But uh, not a lot of them. 4.52 to go here. Fourth quarter play. 32-10 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. Rifle trying to just work the perimeter again. It's going to be Seaman who has this. Looking for options. Decides on Church far side. Church wanted to give it back to him. Couldn't get it there. Takes himself against Rineker. Now tosses one out as that was Treviso. Now to the near side. Deep corner. This is Church against Rineker. Worked up top and a bad pass. Now here's Doyne. <laughs> Couldn't quite get that to go. So the Bears back the other way, and it's number three, Carter Pressler getting his first minutes of the game, handling it. Here's a three-pointer from Pressler, and that one's no good. Tyler Doyne goes up and outstretches his arms to grab that rebound. Doyne now back the other way, moving left to right. It's Ethan Piles in the corner behind the back pass up top to Rineker, inside now to Linquist. And there's going to be a travel call here on Dawson Linquist as he just looks like he got a little tripped up there, took a few extra steps, and we're going to see Quinn Connell check back into the game here for Tyler Doyne. So with that turnover, we have 3.53 to go. Your score is 32-10. to 10. Sailors holding a commanding 22-point lead, and it's Carter Pressler on the inbounds pass. Sailors still running a full-court press here as Pressler tries to get by Brinneker. And he'll just kick it out to Garrett Robinson. Robinson now, far side near, far side top corner, excuse me, gives it off to Trayson Luan. And he gives it over to Church. Church now, top of the key. Shoots it over to Garrett Robinson. And this is Pressler working it. Church along the baseline, spins around, kicks it back out to Luan. And inside now is Treviso, who went up for the layup and just got swatted by Mac Rineker. Loose ball was on the ground. Quinn Connell was involved in that, in that one, along with Treviso. And they're going to award this to the Sailors. Steamboat will take it with 3.17 to go here in the game. 32-10 to 10 lead. And they're looking for a bucket here that pushed them over 10 points in the quarter. Here now is Hanson. Pulls up from three. Oh, no good there. Rebound swatted at by Connell. He goes up and will go to the line for two. Quinn Connell fighting through to get that rebound. And eventually finds it in his hands. Goes up for the layup right in the paint. <laughs> Gets fouled by a number of players. They could have taken their pick on that one. And we've got three minutes to go now. And Connell at the line. Quinn's got three points. He made that three ball in the third quarter. Makes this first of his two. And pushes up to four total tonight. Connell, That's ten. Ten in the fourth quarter. Connell had the stripe for his second one. That one's up and in. Extending this lead to 34 to 10. It's been over a quarter now, I would I would assume to say, than since the last time the Rifle Bears have scored. Only mustering up 10 points so far in Kelly Meek Gymnasium. It's Garrett Robinson. Shoots it down low along the baseline. Pass over to Carter Pressler is rejected by Quinn Connell. And he does draw the foul though, so Pressler's gonna head to the line to shoot too. 
2.45 left to play. Yep. So even though the Sailors hold this 24-point lead, it's uh, 23 now after that Pressler free, free throw is made, excuse me. So even though they hold this 23-point lead, it's still not the game that we really wanted to see. Not I mean, even close. 10 points in the first half. They've got to get something together here. They can't just be a second-half team. Once we start getting deep, you know, this, this Sailors team is a definite playoff team. And uh, you, you can't you can't put up ten points against some of those front range schools. It just it just isn't going to happen for you in the W column if that's what you do. You know what it really comes down to is they've played down to their opponent's level in a number of games rather than uh, setting the bar for the opponent to try and chase down. And I mean they they're okay at you know turning it on, but you're absolutely right if they get caught sleeping in a first half against one of these bigger schools, they won't be able to make up the difference. Exactly, and that's what's kind of troublesome here moving forward, as you know that's what Coach Van Dahl's saying in the locker room. Just It's really just comes down to how, how can we make these changes? How can we get the guys more involved like we were earlier in the season? It might just be a slump here. We'll have to see. As Dawson Linquist controls the ball near side top corner. Down low to Connor Hansen. Pump fake out to Ethan Piles. And now it's top of the key, Quinn Connell. Back out to Piles. Near side, top corner. Works it around the horn. Rineker holds it above his head. Back out to Piles. Inside pass to Linquist. And over to Piles. Cross court to Quinn Connell. It was getting ready to take the three before a timeout was called by Coach Van Dahl. Looks like they're trying to get some more guys in here. Jimmy Osborne looks to be checking in with a buck 51 to go. 34 to 12 is your score. The Avs 10 game winning streak came to an end day. A little bit sad. 10 game winning streak? Yeah, they lost today though. LeBron James hit 30,000 career points. Youngest player to ever reach that mark. And the great, what, what was it like? Twenty days. I think I think you're right. And the greatness continues for the goat, greatest of all time. Don't at me. <laughs> One fifty-one left here in fourth and final quarter of play. Thirty-four twelve lead. Steamboat's going to have possession here out of the timeout. And they did get Osborne out there. He gets the ball top of the key. Jimmy Osborne, dispossessed, ball comes free. Osborne does scoop it up, gets it to a soft spot, finds Piles, drives, and layup's no good. It was a travel against Ethan Piles. 96 seconds remain in the game here. And Rifle now is going to get a quick substitution in as Treviso comes on and off is Gray, who has one point so far today. They came all the way back in quarter number one. This is going to be number four, Garrett Robinson controlling it. He's going to shoot it over to Christian Treviso. Treviso now over to Horshack. Horshack near side, top corner. Back down to Carter Pressler. Pressler working versus Hansen. Over to Horshack. He drives the paint, goes up for the layup, and is swatted by Jimmy Osborne, who says, respect the specs. Great defense to play there from the junior. So this is going to be an inbounds pass from Garrett Robinson as that ball went out of bounds. Robinson looks left, finds Pressler. Pressler up top now to Jacob Seaman. Seaman drives in, no good on the layup, and ooh, throws a shoulder into Quinn Con Excuse me, that's Ethan Piles. And Ethan Piles is, has his hands on his face. As that looks... That looks that looked painful. Anyways, this is going to be Sailor's possession. Ethan Biles is going to come off for probably the last time tonight as we've got only 107 to play here. And Jake Barry is going to work it up moving left to right. Barry now. He leads all scorers with seven points. Ethan Biles does. Barry now over to Connor Hansen near side top corner. Down low to Jake Barry. Barry. He's got under a minute to go now, up top to Linquist, and tries to find Quinn Connell, slips through his hand, says, my bad, that's a turnover there. This is going to be rifle ball. 49.6 left here in this one from Kelly Meek. 34-12, to 12, not a lot of scoring, a little bit boring. 
They sometimes caught me snoring. Borrows here from Vlad and Chase. <laughs> It's going to be worked up top as this is taken by Robinson. Wanted movement, didn't get what he was looking for. Passes off to Pressler, and Pressler goes to the near side, finding Treviso. Up again now, top of the key, it's Robinson. Into the paint, out of the paint. Passes to Horshack near side, top corner. Horshack gives it back, and a three ball, no good. Rebounded, paint, and a layup is good there from Treviso. Wow, what a... What a time to be alive as we see this Rifle Bears team get, getting some points on the board as the buzzer beater from Connor Hansen is good and the crowd goes wild as the sophomore gets the last shot of the game. And that'll do it here, folks. 37 to 14 is your final score. Another W for the Sailors. And that's it for us. For Lone Epstein, Monica, Patrick, everyone involved in this one. I'm Vlad and Chase saying so long. A lot more action coming your way that we've got. Boys and girls ball from Summit on Friday as well as some hockey from the Edge Ice Arena. So keep your dials locked in because this is your Sailor Sports Connection. KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also heard and watched on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Action, KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also heard and watched on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Hey, Taylor basketball fans.